online it is another year 2023 and another chapter has entered the game in fact this is the seventh chapter i believe that's been released to this game which is kind of incredible when you think about how far it's come so this is the elder scrolls online necron chapter and it's essentially returning back to morrowind um it's just here where we are this is vardenfell where uh, Morrowind, the original Morrowind free Elder Scrolls free game was based. But um, now we're going here to the Telvanni Peninsula. And this whole chapter revolves around the Daedric Prince Homerus Mora. And they've actually brought Wes Johnson back to voice act it, which I'm extremely excited for. He voice acted Sheogorath and Oblivion and Homerus Mora in Skyrim. So a lot of you guys would have heard him before, but like I'm just super excited to hear his voice again. So here we are. This is the new zone. Um, if you guys want to start this quest for yourself, by the way, the best way is to go to collections. And then you'll see the new Necrom chapter just here. What truths are best left hidden? Discover Necrom and delve into the forbidden secrets of Apophrica. Apophrica. Fight to preserve reality from Morrowind's Telvanni Peninsula to Homerus Mora's realm. Quest available. A dark conspiracy against Homerus Mora poses a threat to the mortal world and Apocryphra. Apocryphra. I am just dyslexically going to butcher some of these words and I apologize in advance. Placing all of reality in danger, the Daedric Prince seeks a mortal proxy to avert calamity. Meet Laramil and the Wise in Necrom and take up fate's cause. So this is interesting because... Obviously, in the previous Elder Scrolls Online chapters, we have normally had like, oh my god, the Daedric Prince is going to destroy the world and we have to save it. But in this instance, we're actually working with Homerus Mora, which is really cool. He's the Daedric Prince of Knowledge, by the way. Camelworks has done an incredible lore video on him, um, sponsored by Bethesda as well, if you guys want to check it out. I've not got it linked in the description, but I'll add it later. It's very good if you like Elder Scrolls lore and you want to know about the Daedric Prince before you start playing. He's essentially the Lord of Knowledge and Secrets, and the knowledge he kind of gives to the player in this storyline is going to be very interesting because it actually has created a new class uh, which we're going to be playing as in this um in this playthrough so this is the arcanist class and it's got like a bunch of new skill lines which i've just started leveling so tomorrow i should have it leveled up quite a bit but right now i'm kind of exploring it still it has some cool things that i'll talk about as we play through and you know we'll explore that together i'm really excited for this because we've not had a new class since 2019 uh, when they released the necromancer so this is very cool we've got a new class in this dlc which everyone has been asking for for ages uh, and it's very unique i've never seen anything like it you know so it's it's very much like intertwined in the elder scrolls lore so well done Zenimax, for this this is this is great um i want to watch the cinematic before we actually get started in the storyline because I'm pretty pumped for it. Thanks for joining, guys. All right, let me full screen this, and then we can watch this cinematic together and be like, yeet. Here we go. Let's go. This is a sick cinematic. That hyper beam ability she uses. Bit OP. I mean, she's got that healing ability too. And these are all like Arcanist class abilities. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. 
how did he know she was there? <laughs> Into Mora's butthole. It's very Lovecraft. I see. Look at that, it's so cool. We've never seen Homerus more imagined like that. Like, that's really cool. Um, okay, let me, now we can go back to the game. Actual gameplay. Oh, super excited for it. Okay, so let's go to collections. Let's accept this quest and have a look in our journal. We have to go right here and meet this person by the way shrine in this new zone to begin. Fate has noticed your talent for altering destiny. Reality hangs in the balance, as does the future of Apocrypha and Nern. Hence, I bring a message from Hermaeus Mora, the one who knows. Mora offers you a purpose, an aspiration dark and heavy. Ooh, sounds suspicious already. I like it. I'm going to turn up the volume a bit. Fate has what purpose? We are bound together by a common danger. Enemies of Hermaeus Mora threaten his realm of oblivion, and in so doing pose a threat to the mortal world as well. Therefore Mora sent me to meet you here, and secure your cooperation. What sort of cooperation? I'll move my head in a minute so you guys can see the actual dialogue. Only a mortal proxy can deal with a threat and save both Apocrypha and Nern. The fates of both realms are linked, and you are the key to preserving reality. Without you, everything unravels. I'm the hero. Help avert this disaster, and Mora will reward you. All right, you've, you've got my attention. Where do I start? The one who knows instructed me to give you this. A condensate of planar potentialities. It... Uh, you will not understand. It is ink. Take it to the Ulvano system, a ruin near the city. Pour the ink into the water and your path will become clear. I'm going to get teleported to Homerus Mora. Tell me about Homerus Mora. In fact, let me just quickly check the audio levels here so we can hear the dialogue and I'm not too loud. There we go. That should be a bit better. Blue Ghost, thank you so much for the donation, dude. A stream from ESO, a great start to the vacation. Oh, you're on holiday. The one Lovely. Who knows instructed Tell me about Homerus Mora. Have you never heard of the Daedric Prince of Forbidden Knowledge? The Lord of Fate? The Riddle Unsolvable? Hmm. Hermaeus Mora knows everything. He is the wisest of the Daedra. Every secret and all knowledge finds its way to Apocrypha in time. Lord of Forbidden Knowledge. What is Apocrypha? I am astonished how little the mortals of our tiny world comprehend. Apocrypha is the realm of Hermaeus Mora, his home and seat of power. One of the countless realms that drift through oblivion. Please, do not ask me about oblivion. <laughs> what is oblivion? I wish we could. What do you know about these enemies that threaten Apocrypha? I mean, if this was your first Elder Scrolls game, you wouldn't know what Oblivion was. They seem to be servants of other Daedric princes. Rivals to the one who knows. The threads of fate that converge in this region should reveal more. That is the hope, at least. Okay. And we are not dealing with just simple cultists. There are others. What others? 
someone sent the Dusksaber Company to seize relics belonging to Hermaeus Mora from their hiding places in Tamriel. Elite vampire mercenaries commonly employed by Telvanni mages. I expected the cultists. The Dusksabers were an unwelcome surprise. Oh, why do we not have an Elder Scrolls D&D like art roleplay game? Like, why do we not have that yet? What were they looking for? Glyphics. Think of them as crystallized memories. Condensations of notional... Uh, I explain too much. I managed to protect Mora's glyphics with some help. But our adversaries once again move against us. <laughs> Who are you again? I am Laramil, sometimes called the Wise, although that is not a sobriquet I care for. I seek to comprehend the emergent truths elicited by the... Um, never mind that. I am a scholar. A century ago, I struck a bargain with Hermaeus Mora. So you serve him? I do not worship him, if that is your question. Hmm. The Prince of Knowledge is an ally and patron. Mora provides me with access to rare and esoteric lore. In return, I undertake various tasks for him. He cle she cleans his tentacles. She, like, uh, gives him a little ooh, 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 on his eye or something. Cleans him up. He's a very gooey Daedric Prince. Very unclean one, after all. So, now, we need to go to the cistern, which is over here. I'm going to move my head, my obnoxiously large head, slightly smaller, so I'm not in the way of the text. Wasn't Skyrim Tabletop a thing? It is a thing. I've got a tabletop channel where I've painted some of the miniatures. It's called ESO Tabletop, if you guys want to check it out. But uh, I mean, like, Dungeons & Dragons roleplay, like, ta not tabletop, you know? I mean, they have the miniatures, so that's a good point. You like, you it's, it's like a step a in the right direction. Orange. We're just doing the main storyline, by the way, so I'm ignoring all the usually very interesting side quests for the sake of, you know, story progress. I feel like this is some kind of crafting station. Don't know, uh, some of the sets that release from Necrom are pretty good. I've not looked through them all yet. I got pretty addicted to PvP before this chapter came out. And Diablo 4, actually. My god, that game is good. We've done a live stream playthrough on that as well. There's a Bethesda game on mobile called Elder Scrolls Legends. Yes, that's right. I did a review of it. I don't know how it is since launch, but I didn't really enjoy it. It was very pay to win. It wasn't really about what made the Elder Scrolls the Elder Scrolls, you know? But hey, I'm sure they'll make a lot of money and hopefully put it towards the Elder Scrolls 6. Okay, let's pour this in. What's going on over there? Oh, it's a lurker from Apophrica. Whoa, okay. Step forth, Know that you stand in the presence of Hermes Mora. We must converse. Dude, this is insane. They absolutely nailed it. Look at how cool he looks. And immediately recognize Wes Johnson's voice as well. It's just perfect. Laramil has done well and brought fate's chosen into my unrelenting gaze. All other outcomes are now excluded. From this moment, fate ever branching tree begins to grow again. And with it, new possibilities emerge. What's this all about? Now I'm talking about the mobile game. The Elder Scrolls Legends is a different game. That's a card game and it's an incredible game. I love that game. But um, that they're not making it anymore. The, the development team um, disbanded. What's this all about? It concerns beginnings. And endings, secrets too dangerous to reveal, and the stability of the threads of fate. Hidden rivals threaten my realm, and thereby threaten all of reality. If they succeed, fate will unravel and doom both our worlds. Laram 
Laramil calls you the one who knows. How can your rivals hide from you? <laughs> ah, we got it. <laughs> I am the golden eye of fate and the keeper of whispers. Knowledge and memory are my domains. How this threat eludes me, I do not know. But you are the key to preserving Apocrypha. I have foreseen it, and in doing so, you shall save the mortal realm. Oh, the sound is so good. How can I give Apocrypha and Nern? How can I save it? Let Laramil guide you, as she can perceive the threads of fate without undue mental anguish. They converge in three locations. Places. Excuse me? What the hell? I'm trying to do a bloody quest and apparently Homeris Mora just started bitch slapping me from behind. We're going to use our hyper beam. Get wrecked some. Okay, can I play the game? What is happening? Why am I being attacked in the middle of a story area? Okay, let's go and kill this thing. Jesus. All the ink into the water. I've already done this. Alright, we'll, we'll kill this living lurker thing. And then we'll carry on. you got to actually aim this giant hyper beam, by the way. Which is pretty cool. And it does damage based on how many cruxes you have. But I'll talk about this later. Okay, can I... Oh my god. How, why would they put this here? This is actually so stupid. What is a mind terror? It looks terrifying. I'm trying to enjoy the story. Give me that loot. Okay, right. We can, we can try again. Pour this in the water. Come back, miss. We get to see this cool summoning sequence again, I suppose. This is pretty epic. Everyone here was trying to have a conversation before they were rudely interrupted. <laughs> he just reveals himself again. <laughs> okay, so we ask this. We ask this. How am I meant to save Apocrypha and Nern? Okay, Meet her in the Necron Bindery, in the mortal city of the same name. Now, let us seal our covenant. Seal our covenant? How? He's gonna, like, put his tentacle into me. The three glyphics before you contain the concepts necessary to create a contract to bind us. I submit to this as a promise of cooperation you may serve as my proxy without fear of harming your own interests now take the glyphics combine them i'm not so sure i want to sign this contract it is for your peace of mind mortal i offer to bind myself to give you the power to constrain my actions so that you may trust me. The contract also marks you as my proxy. That could prove beneficial in some places you must travel. Apocrypha, nerd. I don't understand. Do you know so little, mortal? Apocrypha is my domain. A plane of oblivion I have shaped to my needs. And this plane, the mortal realm, some refer to it as Nern. As for the connection, just know that if Apocrypha falls, Nern will cease to exist. Really? That doesn't... I didn't know that. That's very interesting that he says that. And what exactly are you? The scholars and mystics of your world call me a Daedric Prince. What you see is only an aspect of my true self. 
for the mortal mind cannot contain the whole of me. This form suffices. I wonder what he actually Your looks like. must remain intact for you to be of use to fate. What do you know about the enemy that threatens Apocrypha? Precious little. They are shadows that vanish under my scrutiny. Obscure figures that somehow hide from my gaze. It is disconcerting. Never have I been so blind. It feels very tempting to poke his eye. Then how do you know there's a threat against it? Every possible fate unfolds before me. They all lead to an event I thought erased from chance eons ago. If this course isn't altered, Apocrypha falls, reality unravels, and Nern is destroyed. This enemy eludes me, but you are my secret advantage. Well, if you can't determine who they are, how can I? That is the reason fate chose you. Your instinctual ability to succeed no matter the obstacles placed before you. No matter the odds. Follow the threats I selected for Liramil. See where they lead. That is the key to saving both our realms. Okay, fair enough. So where are the glyphs? This is the contract. It's pretty suspicious to me. Let's go ahead and sign that. Oh... Just <laughs> an Fate action. Takes many paths, mortal. Find Laramel and choose wisely. Damn, that is cool. Okay, so Laramel, where is she? We have to go to Necrom, which is the local city over here. Where are we right now? Let's quickly grab this way shrine while we're here. I got stream snipes and someone dragged the mobs into me. It could be true. It could be true. Isn't Mirak in there somewhere during this time? No, this is like... This is way before the settings of... Um... Ah, no, no. It wouldn't work. It would be very cool if they did that though. But it just wouldn't... Wouldn't figure it out. He's the first. I don't know. I don't think they would cross over. I'd be very surprised if they did that. Well, that was a waste of time. I think they have like a Maik the Liar in ESO. Gives you an idea, because there's theories of him being Akatosh. So we would fast travel here and we're a bit closer to the town. I don't want to buy anything. Leave me alone. I already brought this DLC. It's only £23, actually. The link below in the description, you can get 23% off. So if you're interested in buying the new chapter, just grab it from the link below. It's interesting looking stables. Is this the stables? No, it's not. That's just a ruin. Damn. This place is massive. It's got like a... A double, what is it, a portcullis, and then you've got like another castle and in a keep. Just gonna quickly upgrade my horse. Speed. Lego. Into Necron we go. So I think this is where the Dark Elves bury their dead. Which is called Necron Necropolis. So you've got to go through there, but let's unlock this way shrine in this location. What DLC worth it for someone just playing the game? Well, I mean, you can get the base game for like £10 these days. It's really cheap. Just to see if you like it. Um, and then you can unlock all the chapters just for the subscription fee. Or you can get like the deluxe, whatever it's called, edition, um, which is also linked below. And that has all of the DLC that was ever released, plus this one. 
So that's a pretty good deal. What is this? Always like the new art styles. Welcome to my safe house, Proxy. Hello. Meeting Hermaeus Mora represents a rare honor. The one who knows materializes in a delimited projection. Uh, he chooses to manifest before few mortals. The threads upon which reality dangles are precarious indeed. What did Mora impart to you? I love the way she speaks. Hermaeus Mora said you would guide me. Could have done that earlier. And so I shall. The one who knows traced three crucial events to this area. Investigate each, and he believes we can expose the conspirators moving against Apocrypha. We may even stop them before the ultimate threat takes shape. What do I need at these three locations? I do not know. I was only presented with what was required to bring you to the right place at the right moment. You must determine why fate needs you in each location, then take the appropriate action. Mate, you speak in riddles. You seriously need to determine why fate needs me? You know where and when, but not what I need to do. Many possible futures branch from every mortal choice. If we know the consequences of our choices, it changes the outcome. Therefore, Hermaeus Mora tells us only what he must. Okay. As fate's chosen, the rest is up to you. That makes sense. Very well. Where do I need to go? The threads of fate lead to three locations in this region. The necropolis of Necrum, the old tower of Telrendis, and the town of Alavalis. I shall open a portal to each, investigate them, and return here to the Necrom bindery when you are done. Wes Johnson just DM'd me. Lol. <laughs> what are the chances of literally playing his DLC? Tell me more about the locations I need to visit. A reasonable and prudent request. I shall provide what details I can, but I know little more than you do. Local history and politics are not my usual area of study. Which location would you like to know more about? Do you know what? We'll just go there and explore them. Tell me about Necropolis at least. This is the place we're in right now. Necrom serves as a center for the ancient Dunma practice of ancestor worship. A strange custom. The monks of the Necropolis, called the Keepers of the Dead, tend the catacombs beneath the city. They guide the faithful in venerating their forebears. I wonder why they need to be tended. Your choice must be your Portal own. Portal to Telrendes. Okay, so we get to choose where we go first. Okay, here we go. Three paths are now arrayed before you. Which will you pick? I'm going on the left one. The only one I know about. How yeah. can we honor our ancestors if the necropolis is closed? The abbot ordered the closure for your own good, citizen. Curate Gadain, make sure no one enters. Prelate? Oh, of course. No one enters the necropolis. The necropolis is closed? Who ever heard of such a thing? He runs away. Something about this doesn't feel right. I guess I gotta to speak to this guy. Sorry, friend, but the necropolis is closed today. And by order of the abbot, it seems. We've never turned away the families of the dead before, but if the rumors about illness are true, plague isn't something to be treated lightly. Illness? When Prelate Forum and his aides arrived, my fellow keepers of the dead were plagued with a strange malady. I was away when the disease struck, and I haven't been allowed back inside since. The Prelate said the abbot ordered the closure, but... Prelate Forum arrived from the temple, and... Suddenly, my fellow monks fell ill. We were never notified of a visit. And besides, Forum isn't our usual prelate. Never even heard of him. If you can help, I can make sure you're compensated. I think. I'll look into that for you. Fate must have led you here, friend. Prelate Forum arrived aboard the Stormwing. If you can find out where they boarded the ship, it might tell us something. Hmm. Talk to the portmaster at the harbour. While I deal with any pilgrims that come by. 
Just gonna leave this group. Then realize I was still in it. So I think we've got to do his quest before we can progress, right? Fate. Keeper of the Fate. So we've got to go down to the pier and chat to him. See what we can do. What build are you going for with the Arcanist? Um, I'm going to go full Magicka for leveling. And then I might switch it up later and go some Stamina. It's an interesting class because it scales, like, the abilities do damage based off your highest stat. So we can kind of build it as a hybrid one, really. Portmaster. Hello. Not now, stranger. My assistant never showed up for work today, and I've got my hands full directing cargo bound for both land and sea. The passengers on the Stormwing may have brought a plague to Necron, though. Plague? That's not a word to toss around lightly. What proof do you have? The necropolis have been closed because the monks there have fallen ill. Look, illness is a part of life when you work with the dead. I'm surprised the keepers of the dead aren't sick more often. Plague can be serious, but I need more than your word to shut down the port or quarantine the city. If you let me investigate the Stormwing, I can find proof. Sorry, I can't let you wander ah. around unattended on a ship under my watch. And since my assistant Randus never showed up for work today, I have no one available to escort you. Without Port Agent Randus or more substantial proof, I can't help you. I can't persuade because we have this new character. I'll go. Port Agent Randus likes to fish at a little cove south of the city, even when he's supposed to be working. Tell him to get his ass back here and I'll let you look around the Stormwing. Okay, fair. Careful of the wildlife, no worries. Wait, why are you still a quest Agent marker? Randus, like oh no. We've got to go over here then. To do this. I wonder if this is the only way to the necropolis. Can I swim around the outside? No, that would take longer. We'll just take a horse. The DPS is disgusting. I'm not surprised. When we get some enemies, we'll, we'll go over a bit how the basics of the build works. But it uses a new mechanic called um, cruxes, which is that little green triangle floating around me. That's a crux. So essentially how it works is um, every time you use this skill, um, escalating rune blades, it generates another crux. And you can have um, several cruxes rotating around you and then you can use one of your other skills that consumes the triangles rotating around you the cruxes and those skills are empowered from how many triangles you have currently going around you so i think we're just going to yolo here yeah. no we survive um and they do more damage subsequently so say for example this skill it's a channeling skill where you basically just show them the Bible and the Lord's light decimates them. Uh, casting Fate Weaver consumes all cruxes that you currently have, increasing the damage done by 33% per crux. So it's going to increase it by 99%, right? Like, because you can have free cruxes. So that's a lot more damage, uh, which is why the DPS is so damn high. I think this is the location we've got to come to. Standing right here. I don't feel so good. Should have stayed in bed. I usually have this spot all to myself. Well, you can have it today, stranger. I don't feel up to fishing. Good luck to you. I'm going back to bed. The port master sent me to find you. Did she? Not the first time the port master sent someone to fetch me. But you can tell her I won't be much help today. I fell ill after inspecting the Stormwing when it arrived in the port the other day. Okay, so you think someone on the Stormwing made you sick? That's the evidence we need. Now that you mention it, the air in the lower hold smelled unhealthy. And the passengers kind of gave me a bad feeling, though I can't rightly say why. Look, tell the portmaster I'm sick and can't work today. For once, that's the truth. <laughs> I'll tell her. 
No worries, bro. More crux equals more power. Yeah, so obviously, like, to maximize the DPS, you would want to essentially have, like, a damage rotation. That means that each time you maximize your crux in your rotation, you can use your hyper beam ability to delete everyone. He's lollygagging. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> what the port master reminded me of when she was like uh not on my watch where is she anyway she's right here oh she's in here cool everyone liking diablo 4 oh my god absolutely love it really enjoying that game so far that's never happened before we keep us of the dead understand your question Gotta go around here to the port. Or we should upgrade our bag on this character quickly. And again. And again. And again. Big bags. The bigger, the better. Where else am I meant to store my useless junk that I collect? If you came for Does Elder Scrolls Lion have raids? Yeah, it has raids and trials, is what they're called in this game. Like big group PvE raids. Uh, and also dungeons as well. Though compared to Final Fantasy, like I watched my wife do the hardest dungeons uh, raids in Final Fantasy with her guild. Oh my god, it is like they are ESO is easy compared to that. You again. And without that good for nothing lazy Randus in tow. <sighs> I told you before, I don't have any time to waste on nonsense today. I found the port agent, um, and he was really sick. Well enough to go fishing, but too sick to work. A likely story. Oh, I should drop everything and go catch him in his lie. Then I'd have a reason to dismiss him and hire a competent assistant. He went home. He was really sick. Now, about the Stormwind. First you shout plague. Then I hear that several of the dock workers who unloaded the Stormwing took ill. Now, Randus. All right. Go investigate the Stormwing. Great. So we finally got in, boys. Let's go. How do I get inside? I think we got to go around. Fishing is better than work. What's going on <laughs> the Stormwing? Fair, fair. Nobody wants to go near that ship. The I'll go inside. Don't worry. I'll risk my life. I already look pretty ill, let's be honest. Is that Raven Rock? No, but it's got that Morrowind vibe. Hidden Kindred Instructions. As the Supreme Plague Master, what? Of our glorious order, I command you to follow these instructions to the letter. Bring the pestilent pestilential lord implements to firewatch and meet at me at the harbour we will complete our journey to necrom aboard the merchant ship stormwing make sure that the vials containing the holy miasma of the disease are sealed tight it's important that period's breath remains undiluted until we share it with the necropolis necropolis's misguided monks ah who's up to this then when I have the robes and cows you will need a necrom, I shall pose as a temple prelate and you will be my attendants. Soon we can search the necropolis unhinged and find what we seek. What do they seek? To the glory of Periite and the hidden kindred, Blightcrown. Ah, who are these people that it speaks of? I mean, that's enough evidence to go on. I don't think we need to search anymore, but hey, let's go for it. Some nice spoiled food there. I'm gonna eat that. She wait, is that the captain? Why is the captain dead here? Didn't we just speak to her outside? What the hell? Confusion. Ah, the hold key. Oh no, it's a vicious squeeze skeever. Terrifying, truly. Let's go into the ship's hold. Naughty naughty. Indeed. 
Honestly, never fails to make my day watching Danny play any game. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. This is a nice looking plague area. Who's this? First made Dalmir's log. Departed Vivic City. Okay, so they came from Vivic. Made port at Saldrith Mora. And took on a cargo of muck sponge. Took on passengers at Firewatch. Rounded the North Cape of the Telvani Peninsula in rough seas. Rough seas. Three days out of Necrom, the crew is complaining about skeevers. There must be some sort of infant station in the hold. Probably something to do with those crates the prelude brought abroad. I'm going to take a look and then I'll lock them till we get to Necrom. Okay, so that's how he died. And he's stuck in a rune prison. Because they don't want him to reveal the truth. Is this the crate with the disease? Periite Idol. The Daedric Prince of Disease, if you didn't know. Let's go back upstairs. Maybe the Skeever Black Plague got them. If it was in Skyrim, it'd be, what's it called, like, joint rot or something? Whenever the wolves give you that disease, you get it every playthrough, man. Where's the captain hiding? Okay, we can go and report straight to him. Wait, who's the hooded figure? Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> that's uh, the main quest. <laughs> Distraction. Thanks for the YouTube advice. Oh, no worries, Wolf. From yesterday, right? Glad I could help. Let's fill him in on what's happening. Back. I was worried maybe you abandoned. If I have to turn away one more family. Did you learn anything at the Stormwing about a sickness or a plague? And did the temple really send Prelate Forum to the necropolis? Prelate Forum is an imposter. He's the leader of the Hidden Kindred cult and a follower of Periite. An imposter? Let me see what you found. I knew there was something wrong the moment I saw the Prelate. Oh, I suppose I should call him Blight Crown. What kind of name is that? <laughs> and what does a devotee of Periite want in the necropolis? The note doesn't say, but it indicates that they want to search the necropolis for something. All sorts of relics and heirlooms are stored in the catacombs with the ancestors. And with Periite cultists loose inside, Abbot Ilvel and the Keepers are in terrible danger. We need to get into the necropolis. But how? The main door is locked. You must know another way around. I don't. Wait! Ah. When I wanted to slip out after curfew, I used the cellar that connects to the city's underways. I doubt Blight Crown or his attendants know about it. Meet me in the tunnel behind the necropolis. I think I can get us inside from there. Good. The entrance to the underways is on the west side of the necropolis. You'll find the cellar door in an alcove on your right. I'll post a notice about the closure and join you there. We can't let Periite's cult rummage through the catacombs. You seem worried about the abbot. I was orphaned at a young age. No other family. Abbot Ilvel took me in and raised me. He... He's the father I never had. A kind and devout servant of the necropolis. But maybe too trusting. It never occurred to him to question Blight Crown's story. Bright Crown, as the pre prelate, said that the necropolis was closed by order of the abbot. I only have Blight Crown's word about that. I'm not even sure if the abbot and the keepers are really sick. When I returned, the place was already locked tight, and I was ordered to stay at the door and turn pilgrims away. What about the city guard? Can they help? As Prelate Forum, Blight Crown has the authority of the temple. The Necrom Guard would never make a move against a Temple Prelate or the Orders of the Abbot. No. We need to get inside and find the Abbot ourselves before it's too late. What can you tell me about Peria? I mean, we know who Peria is. I'll we don't need an explanation for that. The Underways, so we have to go behind the Temple to get inside. Oh, I'm glad I can bring amusing, amusement to your days. Thank you. Thanks for the amazing videos that you could create. That's awesome, dude. Glad you enjoy it. 
the release date on consoles is a bit later than PC. Just subscribe. Thanks, Johnny. Rock joint. That is the disease the, the wolves give you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, wow. This actually looks really interesting. Over here, friend. I rarely use trap door. What? Okay. Through here, eh? You can In we first. go. Yeah, I'll go first. I'll check if it's clear. Don't worry. Don't worry. No one around, just as I hoped. The chapel is through the doorway and up the stairs. Is it really? Up the stairs, eh? There's nowhere else to go. The Keeper's Hall. I like how we're just going to stop them on our own. Sneaky, sneaky. To the right, friend. The door to the chapel is at the end of the hall. Sneak through. Now never spot us. Ah, he's detected me. So look, we can build cruxes by using this ability, which also does damage. And now I have maximum crux. I can use my beam book, and it just deletes people like this. It does additional damage. I can cast it anytime I want. It just does less damage if I don't build cruxes locked. first. The chapel is never locked. Can you pick it? Mate, not can I can I pick it? On a shelf to the can I pick it any day? Mate, I got a skill line I'm so good at pick lock picking. Pick locking. <laughs> Those sensors, whatever they're emitting, reeks. Abbot Destroy the sensors. Is in danger. They're sickening me. Try to borrow and put one of those foul I sensors in his chamber. About a fulcrum. Please. Don't worry. They ask so many questions. Please. No. I know nothing Help of Friar Durdrin's tomb. Leave me be. That's all of them. Let's go check on Abbot Ilvel. He's probably dead. They've been questioned with the poison. Right Crown's orders. Let's have a look at these. Keep the sensors burning to infuse the chapel with Periite's blessed breath. <laughs> but use care. Do not exhaust our supplies before we find what we seek. Question the keepers, stricken by our prince's favor. Where is the relic? Where is the prior Durden, Durden's tomb? What other secrets hide in the catacombs? In their fever, they should reveal what we need to find the relic. Abbot is Ilvel may know more about these topics than the other keepers of the dead. Move him to the chambers and I will question him personally. Ah. My crown is with the abbot. His chambers are to the north when we're done here. He's in the abbot's chambers. What's he doing to him? The abbot. Destroy that foul sensor, friend. Don't worry, I got it. Ah. Oh, no. uh, brother, stop. Fulcrum Obscura. Um, Durdrin's tomb in the lower catacombs. How insidious. Blightcrown made the keepers of the dead sick so he could question them in their fevered state. And also he could find some old relic hidden in the necropolis? Why go to all the trouble? I mean, it's pretty impressive that he got this far by just being like, I am the leader. You must trust me that I am a prelate. And then he just walked in here with no badge of office, claiming that he was who he said he was, and everyone believed him. That, that's the crazy part. It's part of the plot to attack Chimeris Mora. I, t I was told that fate sent me here to stop it. Chimeris Mora? The Keepers of the Dead have nothing to do with the Lord of Secrets. And I never heard of anything called the Fulcrum Obscura. Wait, how do you know all this? Are you a cultist too? No, I agreed because I... The threats to Hermeris Mora also endangers Nern. Endangers Nern? He's like, what, mate? <laughs> I'm just a minor curate working in the necropolis. Feuds between Daedric princes are beyond me. Still, I want to help. Finding anything in the catacombs will take time. We might be able to catch up with Blightcrown if we hurry. What kind of relic would be in the tomb? Hmm. Prior Durdrin founded the Necropolis and our order. 
Abbot Ilvel idolized him, told me the prior was obsessed with Necrom's history, and had received a special charge from Lord Vivek. There's a key to the catacombs in the desk. Hurry, friend. I'll take the key. Take the key from the desk and head to the catacombs. The door is through the chapel and to the north. I'll stay with Abbot Ilvel. Do what I can until he recovers. Just be careful. We know Blight Crown didn't arrive at the necropolis by himself. Is there anything else you could tell me about this tomb? Prior Durdrin established the Keepers of the Dead as a religious order and built this abbey over the ancient necropolis. He lived and died here centuries ago. Do you know anything about the relic? Hmm. I don't remember that coming up in any of the abbot's lectures. Mm. But Prior Durdrin possessed many talents. Legend has it he could command powerful Daedra and resist their lures. And he was given some sort of charge by Lord Vivek personally. And where will I find Prior Durdrin's tomb? I only visited it once, with Abbot Ilvel when I was very young. It's somewhere in the lower catacombs, at the very deepest point in the necropolis. Remember, Blight Crown brought the hidden kindred with him. You might have to fight to get there. No worries, I can do that. Do you think they're going to be okay? Well, let's just find out. Let's the find door out. to the catacombs is through the chapel and to the north. And he keeps telling me where it is. Tomb is deep inside. I know, you've told me. We asked you and you told me. To the chapel. Oh, hello there. Crux, 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 crux. And then... He was too powerful. Nothing will stand in my way. I need a boss to test this one. Can't wait for the next Skyrim kind of game. Do you mean the Elder Scrolls 6? Don't worry, I will save you, AFK player. Do not fear, my book of knowledge will defeat everything. We've saved another innocent from a sure fate of death. Hyper Beam. The power of my lord, Homerus Mora, compels you. Hyper Beam. It's too powerful. Honestly, the channel on this ability is ridiculous. Yo, look at the range on that. It's like a sniper. A laser beam of legend, for sure. Nothing will stand in my way from the laser beam. Are you going to do any more Mountain Blade videos in the future? Yeah, probably. Don't know when, though. Let's round them all up and then delete us. Ah! Oh. Eat laser beam! Mate, the laser beam class is amazing. I love it. Giant laser beam. People's face. Into the necropolis. No one could stand in my way. I can also use this cool shield ability. And my character has a self-heal as well, which I don't really need, but it looks cool. This is Periite's goo, I guess. Snipe. You actually have to aim it as well, which is pretty fun. Very nice. Deeper into the catacombs we go. Wish you the best from Germany and have a nice time playing ESA. Whereabouts in Germany do you live? My wife's German. That's a sick good, yeah. Oh, we're level 11. Let's go, boys. Give me the tri stat potions. They're actually really good for this build. That's the sound it makes. It goes. Any more Skyrim quest mods in the future? A hundred percent. I've actually got a really. Wait, someone 
approaches Dovisard. Quick, take the relic. It's the guy from the trailer. The relic broke. Still, this portion contains the power we need. I leave our guests to you, Blightcrown. The time to hide is over. He can't see. Behold, Blightcrown, most favored priest of Periite. I leave you with a blessing from the Prince of Pestilence. A smelly troll. Not a smelly troll. That's the worst kind of troll. You ready? Hyper beam. Oh, big health bar damage. We like it. Hyper beam, go. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a ghost of a chance. You just laser beam everyone, man. The power of the book is too strong for him. Knowledge! Now, I'm going to go in PvP later and just shout knowledge at people. It's a pity we don't have all chat. It's a perfect little pedestal for the relic. This is a very cool building. It's actually outdoors. Okay, so we've got to go through here. Hey, I'm new to the channel. What class is that? This is the new class. It is the Arcanist. It looks like I've modded the game, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> you've never seen this class before in, like, the several years that they've been having the game. Now, they released a new class in the Necrom chapter. You have to stack these little triangles called Crux, and then you use Hyper Beam, like in Pokemon. And it has a massive range like this. It's ridiculous. I love it. It's a very different way to play. Compared to the other classes. I like that there's a little bit of a You're skill back. management. Look, Abatilvel is awake and feeling much better. He doesn't look is good. This the one, Gudain? You Young Gudain told me of your mission for the Prince of Fate. A strange and perilous ally. But I thank you for saving the necropolis. We owe you our lives. You do. What happened in the catacombs? Did you find the imposter who called himself Prelate Farah? The Prelate is actually a Periite priest named Blightcrown. They got away with part of the relic. Interesting. I know Prior Durdrin cavorted with Daedra, but there was no mention of Periite in any of the Chronicles. At least I see that you recovered the rest of the relic. I have no idea what they think it can do, or if it even still functions. What should I do with this piece of the relic? Oh, hold on to it, of course. What, he doesn't want it? said that fate led you to us. I can only assume it was because of the Fulcrum Obscura. It must have a role in whatever trials you must face to save Nern. Yes, my young charge told me everything. He does that. <laughs> was there anything else? Just this. I am in no condition to help you recover the relic. None of the keepers are. Well, none except Gudain. I will send our young curate with you. Search out these villains, put a stop to their scheme, and recover the Fulcrum Obscura. Goodbye. Gudain, go with this adventurer. Retrieve the stolen piece of Fulcrum Obscura. You need to see more of the world anyway. Go. But... Uh, yes, Abbot. I'll do it. I never travelled far from Necrom. Barely left the Telvanni Peninsula. And that was just one trip to Mournhold with Abbot Ilvel. The Abbot has given me a mission, though. And I mean to complete it. Just tell me what to do, and I'll follow your lead. You must take the ring to Mordor. <laughs> Meet me at the old Necrom bind Bindery. I'm working with someone named Laramil the Wise. We're assembling the Avengers. The Necrom Bindery? I thought that place was abandoned. <laughs> of course I'll meet you there. Oh, and the Abbot authorized me to give you this. For exposing Blightcrown and saving the Necropolis. They got away with part of the relic, but we'll get it back. Okay, that's interesting. 
I'm stealing this. Keeper of the Fate, the first quest is... Oh, convenient portals. I like this quest. That dark elf also bears the mark of fate. Oh, hello. I shall speak with you momentarily, Kirit. Fate's threads still lead to two other locations. Choose another portal proxy. I'm liking this quest. They just zip you around with portals. I... Of course. Go on, friend. I'll see you soon. I'm going to tell Rendy's. I studied the threads of a reasonable... Tell Rendy's. Tell me about that. Tell Rendis is one of the many mushroom towers that dot this land. A mushroom tower? They usually serve as domiciles of Telvani wizards who wield formidable magic. But this tower is abandoned. <gasps> no. Interesting. Fate dictates that when you go there, I shall accompany you. Come on in. Let's go. Through the portal. It's blinding. Todd Howard needs to birth the Elder Scrolls 6. What a weird way to put it. He just, he's currently uh, in, in labor for the last, last years. Come, Proxy. Fate dictates that I join you at this location. The threads of fate draw both of us to this place, Proxy. Tell Rendis, once the home of a powerful Telvanni Magister named Meln the Mouthless, but now abandoned. From what I could ascertain, no one knows what happened to the wizard of this tower. Is that why we're here? To find out what happened? That has yet to be determined. Okay. One of the strands of fate revealed to me converges at this location. More than that, Hermaeus Mora expects us to learn for ourselves. Of the three sites, this one requires that I be on hand to assist you. Why is this place more important than the other two sites? I never said it was more important. Just that fate requires both of us here. More than that, we shall need to determine. Do you believe in fate, chat? I do sense a lingering presence. A connection to Apocrypha. Help me investigate this place and Hermaeus Mora will reward you. I will help you. Where do we start? <laughs> I wish to survey the tower and its grounds. The threads of fate hang over this place like cobwebs of possibility and consequence. Let us explore the center of the compound and see where those threads take us. Okay, can you tell me more about the Telvani? The Telvani are one of the great Dunma houses. They focus on magic and the arcane arts, and they consider power, ruthlessness, and ambition to be paramount. We must be careful in our dealings with them, for well, they are nothing if not dangerous. You mentioned a name, Melon the Mouthless. Yes, but I could not learn much. Just that he owns this tower, but has not been seen in some time. The place is considered abandoned. He was a Telvani Magister, the highest rank in the house, second only to the Arch Magister. What does it mean that he was mouthless? Telvani masters and magisters avoid undue socializing. Me too. Fearing me too. threats from all directions. So they appoint agents to represent them. Mouths. Meln eschewed the practice. Hence they called him Mouthless. The Mouth of I Sauron. I his tower to be a fortress. Mate. It's all inspired by Lord of the Rings. Where's the tower? Is that the tower? Or is it that one? Or is it... Hmm. Which tower? Wait. You're... Why am I called Proxy anyway? Search the tower grounds. Very well. Onto my horsey. They're all hermits, indeed. Master Shelready, the tower's defenses continue to oppose us. Meln was thorough, I'll give him that. Any word from the tower? No progress yet. I'll keep you informed. See that you do, Captain. You there, come forward. You aren't with the Dust Sabers. I'm going to read these orders first. My business at Telrindes is not quite done. Detach a strong company of Dust Sabers and establish a camp at the tower. I'll join you there. 
Do not attempt to enter until I arrive. The mouthless set power defenses in place. That would take time to circumvent. Okay. I expected to have Telrendis all to myself today. And you're certainly not one of Captain Xenthus's vampire mercenaries. So, who are you, and why have you come to this tower? I am Sir Dumbledork. We have... <laughs> I forgot I named him that. We have heard the place was abandoned. Abandoned, yes, but not without its defences. Telrendis is a dangerous place, Fla. I advise you not to interfere with the Dusk Sabres. And it seems Meln the Mouthless left Telrendis well protected, as my mercenaries can testify. Meln the Mouthless? Oh, the Telvanni Magister who owned this place. He's been missing for decades. The old fool possessed a book that I very much want to add to my library. Scavenge if you will, as long as you understand the book is mine. Now, why are you really here? I can say Hemeris Moro sent us to investigate this place, or I can lie and say I'm here to scavenge, which is quite funny, but I'm going to go with this. Indeed. You don't look like a Daedric cultist. Running errands for Daedra is frowned upon in most lands, but I appreciate your honesty. My dusk sabers are stymied, and Meln warded his tower against other Telvanni such as myself. Perhaps you can help. What do you need? Find a way into the tower and breach Meln's defenses so I can recover the book I seek. You can then attend to your business with the gratitude of a Telvanni master. So what do you say? Do we have an agreement? We'll find a way. I suggest you begin with the old Telrendis Hall, to the southwest of this camp. Captain Zenfis reports that his Dusk Sabres are having a difficult time there. If you can succeed where they have so far failed, I will make it worth your while. You're working with vampires, and by vampires she means the Dusk Sabres who are vampires. Uh, you can grab the DLC from the link below for like £23. I don't know what that is in dollars, maybe like $28? Maybe? I don't know. The Dusk Sabres, they're mercenaries, Fla. Efficient, capable, and rather expensive. But I believe in hiring the very best. No need to worry. They won't bite anyone unless I pay them to. Kinky. We like that. Tell me more about yourself. An appeal to my vanity. How charming and clever. We Telvani think highly of ourselves and enjoy sharing. I'm an accomplished mage, as you might guess. Oh, and God. I have more than earned the right to wear a master's hood. In fact, I should be a magister. A magister? The next rank up in the house, which will allow me to challenge the arch magister. I expect to be awarded the rank soon enough. Now, don't you have a tower to break into? <laughs> have, you have you seen hidden kindred cultists here as well? There are no cultists here. Only my dusk sabers and the defenders Meln the Mouthless left behind. But I am curious about how you are acquainted with Torvasad. Where did you encounter him? Yeah, it's it's pretty affordable, actually. I mean, if you just get the upgrade. Obviously, if you get the deluxe one with all the DLC and the game, then it's more expensive, but still very much worth it for different reasons. Torvas, Torvas, Torvasad worked with the Hidden Kindred to steal a relic from the Necrom Necropolis. You know him. In some quarters, it's impolite to ask about such things. I'm a Telvanni master. I know many Dramora. My dealings with them are not your concern. But if you must know, I had no part in whatever happened in Necrom. I am a Telvanni master, okay? By the way, I am a Telvanni master. That Telvanni bears watching. But the tower remains the crux of our investigation here. Let us find a way in. She keeps saying that, but she's not actually doing anything but standing in her tent. Let me out! Lamaris Mora can trust me with anything, Lamaril, or whatever your name is. I'm a very competent warrior. We. Oui. You want to go over here. So this, is this the mushroom tower then, or is it that one over there? They all have windows coming out of them. I believe it's this one. I think you can get a house that looks like this, right? We need to go in this particular grovel. 
Rendaya's Hall. She's very smug, yes. She's very proud. Salvani mage. I'm not... I'm often not fond of most chapters and DLCs. It in makes the game quite overwhelming. That door. Ah. What happened here, mercenary? What happened here? The ward killed my comrade. Not easy to do to a dusk saber. How about a vampire, huh? Maybe it was sun damage. Yeah, no, I think there's so much DLC and content in this game that it's definitely overwhelming, I agree. I thought we had little to fear from old tricks and traps. But look what happened to my comrade. Dead as the last swit who stepped out of line across the dusk sabers. Speaking of, who are you and what are you doing here? Master Sharlani sent me to help open the path of the tower. Tell me what happened. Nalia tried to push through the ward on that door. The note over there suggests that something in this room disarms the trap. Clearly, she guessed wrong. I think this strange lens is part of the puzzle. We found it by the note. A lens? What does it do? Here, you take it. We obviously weren't able to figure it out. I'll be <laughs> damned if I try to use it again. If Shoreni sent you, by all means, be my guest. I'm just going to stand back here. I'll see if we can figure out how to dispel the ward. Lenses such as that can reveal hidden things. Whoa. Look through it, Proxy. Stop calling me Proxy. I feel undermined. Uh, how do I look for it? Here we go. Oh, putting them on. Look for anything glowing. That should be the switch to dispel the ward. I wonder if you can use this in other areas. Is it this note? I don't think so. Oh, it's the sword. The ward is gone. Master Shalreni must be informed at once. This is our opportunity. Lead the way, Proxy. I mean, why didn't they consider putting on the eyeglasses that they found next to the note? Alright, let's go upstairs into the mushroom tower. Oh, oh, sick. This is like the portal to this get to the top. Should take us to the tower. We. We have reached the lower level of the tower. There should be more portals to take us higher, Proxy. Proxy? Dare enter the Tower of Mel, Master of the Telfani? Turn back or be destroyed! Let's go on, I think. The spirit. Ignore it. You aid that thief and liar, Sir Reddy Barrow! Provoke me at your own risk, intruder! As if murdering me was insult enough. Now she sends attempt. you to steal my book. <laughs> Is this spirit actually Mel? Prepare to face the fury of Mel the Mouthless, Magister of the Telvani. Also, or we could have a nice chat and discuss this like civilized people. <laughs> a accidentally... reasonable request. Speak to the spirit, Proxy. I accidentally killed the rat behind him. If there's one thing I learned in death, it's how foolish the living can be. I know all that passes in my home, intruder. I heard your bargain with that so-called master, Sherani Barreau. You have given my murderer access to my tower. Master Shalani murdered you? Why? Why does a Telvani do anything? Ambition, power, greed. Twenty years ago, I stood in Sherani's path, an obstacle to the higher rank she craved. She requested a meeting. Instead of negotiating, she killed me and tried to steal my prized possession. If you were dead, what stopped her from stealing this possession of yours? Oh, just all the contingencies I had in place. With my last breath, I banished her from the tower and set all the wards and defences. <laughs> they held perfectly well. Until you mucked everything up. Impressive, though. Uh, 
should have no trouble stealing my black book now. Black books? The tormenting eye. A tome of forbidden secrets. I see Hermaeus Mora's mark on you and your companion. If you don't know about the black books, she can tell you more. Chevrony Barreau is careless in her pursuit of power. She must not possess my book. What are you asking? Two things protect my book. The spell of eligibility I cast upon it. And the fact that without my aid, it will take her time to break the spell on her own. Still, I'd rather she never get her hands on it. Stop her, and I'll find a way to reward you. I will discuss it with Laramel. The thread becomes clear. Hermaeus Mora sent us to recover the Black Book. The Black Book is mine. And with this soul gem, I also have this miserable spirit. Mel comes with me. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Got him. Well, that wasn't convenient. The threads of fate here are tied to three things. Master Shell Rennie, Mel the Mouthless, and the Black Book. That was the connection to Apocrypha I sensed here. Black Books are creations of Hermaeus Mora and his realm. Tell me more about the books. Black Books are relics of Apocrypha. Each holds a different secret. Most are kept in the vast libraries of Hermaeus Mora's realm, but he sometimes gifts one to a mortal. In addition to forbidden knowledge, each serves as a portal to Apocrypha. How many black books are there? That is a secret the one who knows has not yet shared with me. Interesting. I can count the number of black books I know about on one hand, and each is unique. Only one copy of each book exists. This is the first I have heard of one titled The Tormenting Eye. So what now? We must free Mel the Mouthless from Master Shell Rennie's grasp and retrieve the Black Book. But to do that, we need more information. Look around, Proxy. If Mel was indeed murdered here, there might be proof of Shell Rennie's villainy. Ooh, do we have to use the sunglasses again? There's a note here. At the instructions of Sherleni Barrow, Master of Telbar, I send this letter directly to you, as you have not appointed a mouth to handle your day-to-day -day affairs. Master Sherleni requests an audience with you at your tower, Telrendis, to take place tomorrow at first light. At this time, she shall present her proposal, finally putting an end to the animosity that has clouded your interactions these past few years. She wishes to prove to you that her intentions are well in keeping with the long-term standing traditions of House Tavani, that she deserves to be awarded the rank of Magister and would seek your support in this matter. Finally, she would like the opportunity to negotiate a trade or purchase of an item in your possession, an ancient tome titled The Tormenting Eye. She will arrive at your tower tomorrow morning to conclude business. Well, this letter from Master Shell Rennie's mouth. That meeting must have been when Mel was murdered. Makes sense. Proves that she was here. And this body? Oh, this is his body, lol. House signet ring and his remains. A letter and a murdered magister. I know what we must do, Proxy. What was we do? Mel the Mouthless let down his guard and paid the ultimate price. His body has remained here forgotten and undisturbed for decades because he preferred solitude above all else. Now Master Shell Rennie has both Meln's spirit and his black book. You said that you know what we need to do, though. To recover Meln and his black book, you must find Master Shell Rennie. And the letter you discovered explains how to do that. Go to the Assembly of Masters at Old Isra and question Shelreni's mouth, Fabdru. He shall know how to reach her. You aren't coming? No. Here our paths diverge. Okay. I leave mouth, Fabdru, and Mel in your hands. While you pursue the spirit, I shall research the Black Book and contemplate the other threads of fate. I must determine how this factors into the threat against Apocrypha. 
What do I do after I locate the master? Master Shell Rennie has trapped Meln's spirit in a soul gem. You must retrieve that gem or destroy it. Go to Old Isra and find Shell Rennie's aide, Mouth Vadru. He must have an office in the tower called Telvara. What can you tell me about Ard Isra? The Telvani Assembly of Masters meets there. Well, their representatives do. The Masters themselves rarely bother to make an appearance. That is what they have mouths for. You want to go to Telvara. The mouths work out of that tower in Old Isra. It's like having a receptionist. <laughs> but for a Telvani mage. Why don't the Telvani ma Masters ascend their own assembly? I mean, she just explained that. They're too busy. The masters leave day-to-day -day concerns to their mouths. Their own arcane yeah, we don't need to. We, we understand. Oh, she so, I love this NPC. She just gives you a portal. I don't even have to walk downstairs with her. She's just like, hey, look, there's a portal. Just go straight there. And I'm like, ah, oh, thank you. This is how I want everything to be. Where have you placed me? Is there any objective near me? No. We have to go here, though. Why didn't you teleport me directly there? I would have been faster. I don't know. Maybe it's just like whoever wrote this just loves to say the proper British way of you, saying things. You, you know? look like a capable forager. I need some help. Can we talk? Generic fantasy dialogue. Shall. She does have a certain kind of pompousness about her. I don't mind. It suits her character. My master wants you to convey this message to Master Shell Rene. The assembly will not tolerate threats or coercion. These rumors disturb the other masters. Shell Rene must moderate her ambition before the assembly takes action. I will relay your concerns to Master Shell Rene. Forget what you heard, stranger. Master Shelreni cares not what the other masters think of her, or how difficult she makes things for me. Huh. So, what brings you to Telvara, the tower of the Telvani mouths? I need to talk to Master Shelreni. Where can I find her? Master Shelreni never comes to Aldisra. Telvani masters rarely do. I expect she is at her tower, Telbaro. But I would be a poor mouth indeed if I let you pester her at home without asking what business you have with her. She took a gem from Telrendis. I need it back. Master Shelreni never returns anything she takes. <laughs> but if you are willing to scratch behind my ear, I'll scratch behind yours. Ah, we speak so our language. Master Shelreni has become difficult. I would prefer to find another role in Aldisra. You want me to help you find another job? Oh, I already have the perfect position in mind. I just need to show them that I'm the best candidate. Your part is simple. Gather some papers from the servants' quarters, ah. bring them back here, and leave them on Mouth Delvi's desk. Discreetly, of course. Which papers and where? The papers contain sensitive information. Letters found by a valet in my employ. The servants' quarters are in a small tower to the north. The papers are stashed on the upper floor. Bring them back and leave them on Mouth Delvi's desk. Simple, yes? We already know the answers to the other questions. Um, so now we need to find this. Where are the servants' quarters? We go in here. There's a law book. There's another book here. I can. Oh my god! Help me! Give me that law. Juicy law. Warm sands, indeed. All right, let's go to the servant quarters and get this uh, these papers. Telvani Khajiit mouth, progressive. 
You think so? Yeah, I was also surprised to see not a Dark Elf. I think it's quite cool having Khajiit in those robes, though. He looks very elegant. They were under his bed. He was hiding them here. I really wanted to be able to read them, to be honest. I wanted to, like, read how bad the appraiser was or whatever. Yeah, it's a uh, moral wind base, so it does. Though these are meant to be mushroom towers, and these are more like high aisle fantasy towers. Here we are. Well done. And Master Shildreni always says good help is hard to find. I see you found the papers and placed them on the correct desk. And my paws are clean in this matter. Thank you. Now it's just a matter <laughs> of waiting for Mount Delvi to resign. Then I can swoop in and claim the position. What exactly was in those papers? The less said, the better for both of us. <laughs> Suffice it to say, you helped me secure a new position in accordance with the time-honored traditions of House Delvani. With my business behind us, we can see to yours. So how do I gain access to Telbaro? Take the Telbaro insignia from my office. You'll need it to unlock the wards. Otherwise, you'll never get through the cavern to reach the tower. Master Shalreni takes security quite seriously. Now, if you'll excuse me, a mouth's work is never done. I'll get the insignia. My office is through the north door and the insignia is behind my desk. Use it to unlock the wards in the cavern or you'll never reach the tower. Telbaro is hard to find. Look for the cavern of the tower east of Old Isra. The tower is inside. I see. I shall do just that, my friend. Letter to Mouth Vabardu. I must say, I was disappointed by your last letter. A mouth must keep the politics of Ald Isra from interfering with their master's more important work. If I must address the frivolous concerns of my rivals, what purpose do you serve? If they continue to insist that I am in fact doing something wrong, which is impossible under Telvani customs and traditions, then have them call for a conclave. Once that occurs, I will deal with my rivals once and for all. In the meantime, do better. If you disappoint me again, I'll skin you alive and turn you into a fur-lined cloak. <laughs> no, you'll make a fine rug, cat. Ah, the insignia. Give me that lore. Give me that knowledge. This is his journal. An unpleasant conversation with Mouse Sorus today. She informed me that her master requires Master Shalani to stop directing spies and scrying devices against other house masters. I denied any such intrusions, but Mouse Sorus brushed aside my protests. More trouble. The Assembly of Masters is considering, considering a new bylaw requiring members to disclose all bargains, compacts and allegiances with any people or el or entities outside of House Talvani. I do not know how I will tell Master Shalnali the, the news. I received more bills from the Dust Sabres, strange requests from someone who referred to himself only as Blight Crown. Ah, I will pay them. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't know she was the bad guy already, I guess. But surely she... Usually they don't reveal it this early, so I think she must be a scapegoat. You know, who is really at play here using these two people to do their bidding? I'm not sure. Still no repurse for the master blah blah blah. Still no response from Master Shalrani. I must give the assembly some time to reply on her behalf. But what? Will they accept no more denials or delays? She's really making my job more difficult with every passing day. Latest entry. At last, a reply from Master Shalani. Of course, it's utterly impractical. She demands a formal hearing of her peers. Yeah, we already knew about this.
Okay, let's go back outside. So, we now need to find the cavern over here, I believe. How are we going to get there the fastest way? Okay, let's unlock this way shrine first. Then we'll have all the way shrines. It's very pink, isn't it, these mushrooms? May your roads lead you to warm sands, five claw. Indeed. Some of it just looks like flesh, though. We're almost there. Mysterious noises. Wait. Now we've got to go here. Head to old Isra. I have no time to hold on. Don't be silly. I'm on a quest. The worst part about starting a new character is having a horse that moves at 1% speed. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> Big damage. I really need to find some kind of armor set that increases the damage that your channeled abilities do because that would just be bonkers on this character. Some rawhide guards. Actually, uh, restoration? No. Disgusting. It's not what I need in my life. It's a silt strider. Yeah, it's a weird sound. Chop, chop. Who's this? Nussum. Cool looking Argonian. This zone definitely looks more interesting than... Um, High Hours was good, but the one before that, Blackwood? Can't remember the zone's name. It's been a while. The one that had Leowin in it. Climb over here. This is the way shrine. Then we just need to go to this viewpoint. Someone just healed me from the full damage, lol. How lovely. It's a mountain horse. Have you never seen one? Red Dead. What do you mean? Red Dead Redemption looks different. Yep, it would. It's a different game. It's kind of based on reality instead of fantasy, like ESO. So this is the giant mushroom. Pretty trippy. Let's go inside. See what these caverns are like. I'm going straight this way. Oh, we can't. Okay, we're going to go around. I like these little arches. What's this? What is this? Looks weird. So this is the entrance to the tower within a tower. Ah, so now we can enter this with the ward. Master Shalani has created a new arcane barrier to ward the entrance to the tower Tel Barrow. Remain vigilant as these wards are temporary until she has time to conjure something more permanent and durable. No, only those who authorize to enter the tower, of which there are precious few, will need Talbara insignia to temporarily unlock the wards long enough to enter. Without the insignia, okay, we have those then, that's good. 
Fran Cooper, thanks for being a member for seven months. Coming on to a year here. Here's to seven months of membership. Here's to many, many more. Currently waiting for Necrom to come out on the console. When is the release date on console? It's like almost a month later or something, right? They should have something to do between now and Starfield. But yeah. It's a pity that it takes them longer for some reason to release on console. Okay, so I've got to go and unlock the Tower of Wards now. Oh, so that's what that red thing was. I'm going to swim across. Another Betty Netch. Activators Wardus. Well, that was easy enough. Let's unlock the next one. Is there any new motifs in the store? I mean, yeah, there will be. We can have a quick look if you like. Remind me momentarily after this quest. Okay, so this is the Ice Atronaut protecting this one. Now let's use some Cruxes and then do the beam again. Even more damage. Disgusting. I like it. So where's the last wards? In the middle, I think. Yay. There's one in there. In this little cave, by the looks of it. The ward lock. The last one's in this tent. The only bad thing about playing DLCs at launch is that most players seem to kill everything before you can get there. Death beam. Alright, now we can go back to the tower. What will be your race for the Arcanist? Well, I'm playing as a Breton. Um, I would say that Dark Elf and High Elf are the best races, um, but I've just made a Dark Elf Sorcerer, no, Dragon Knight, sorry, uh, to level up again. So I didn't want another Dark Elf, and I don't have a Breton currently, so I'm just like, oh, I'll play a Breton. Just, I just prefer to have, like, all the races, uh, and no one wants to play as a High Elf, so, you know, disgusting creatures, really. Now is in my power, Tordasad. He'll unlock the Black Hole soon enough. It's a nice picture. We need to write him within the tormenting eye, or else all is for naught. Hello. Can we actually unlock our skill? The unblinking eye. Ultimate abilities require okay, cool. Something something. I'll uphold my end of the bargain. I expect them to uphold theirs. Oh, so much knowledge. Last portal, here we go. I have no time for obstinate ghosts. You will give me access to the black book when I return, or else. Convenient, she just here. left. Quickly before she already comes back. I'm coming, I'm coming, jeez. I see you were able to follow the clues I left in my tower, uh, but you took your sweet time. I can't defy Shemreni much longer. If we're going to get out of here and keep me from complying with that lying murderer, you must do exactly as I say. What do you need to do? My spirit is bound to the soul gem Shemreni used to capture me. Disentangling the connection will require more time and expertise than you have. So simply take the gem and leave without me. She may never be able to unlock my black book. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. Where is the black book? Shalreni took the black book with her, but without my help, she'll have to unriddle it page by page. The labor of days or weeks, not hours. If she can even accomplish it, she's too fond of the easy path to power. It will be her undoing someday. What does Master Shalrani need the book for? She doesn't need it at all. She's in league with a Dramora, Torvasard, and a pair of Daedric princes. 
There's apparently a right contained within the book they want her to cast. In return, they'll give her what she wants. Control of House Telvani. I'll get the soul gem. What ESO class is a mix of mage and warrior? Well, um, you can play it like a tanky sorcerer, but like it depends how you want to play. The builds are very diverse and different depending on that. Can you hear me? With the gem in your possession, I can come and go as I please. Now use that portal and let's go. Is this the, the way out or not? We oui. Oh, I'm going through the floor. <laughs> yeah, Camel Works did a great video. About Homerus Mora. I've only seen about 60% of it though. Watched about 11 minutes. And I started streaming. Yes, this will do nicely. Let's discuss our arrangement, my Oh, it's the Slenderman. What the hell? Laser beam. Okay, let's go and talk to this guy again. What are these, like, weird events meant to be anyway with the, uh, the tentacles? Like, what's going on here? And why didn't I get any loot? Disgusting. Being dead and incorporeal isn't how I plan to spend eternity. But being with you is a thousand times better than remaining in Sharenia's clutches. And we delayed her plans for my black book. Now, tell me about your dealings with Hermaeus Mora. Hermaeus Mora chose me, chose me, I am the saviour, to help Apocrypha, Apocrypha and Nern from opposing Daedric princes. So, end of the world stuff. Well, that's something interesting, at least. Obviously, you're going to need the help of a Telvani Magister. Luckily, you have me. Let me conjure up a small reward for my old vault. A stipend for services rendered. A soul gem? Isn't that his soul gem? Or is it the skill point? You'll never be at loss for advice, commentary about the world, and other tidbits he decides to overshare with you. <laughs> now... Mind you keep my gem on you at all times. I can't help you save the world or advise you on matters of import if I'm not on your person. Unless I manifest, only you can hear me. Oh, and I can lend you certain abilities, such as my ghost sight. What are you going to advise me about? Remember, I was a Telvani Magister. Still am, as a matter of fact. One of the most powerful mages in the peninsula. And I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. And Shereni. Don't you think my counsel will be worth listening to? Well, it is. Okay. Well, Master Sharani mur Why did Master Sharani murder you? Well, we know. She already... God, do people not listen to the story? Like, obviously, she murdered him to get power. Once, long ago, I was her mentor. But I recognized a darkness in her. And not the usual Telvani traits. Uh, she was reckless. Dangerous. I refused to sponsor her advancement beyond the rank of master. And she coveted my black book. So, she killed me. Tell me about Ghost Sight. It's an improvement on the ocular lens you used in my tower. I created a spell to produce the same effect without any need of a crude focus. Turns out... It works even better now that I'm dead. How does it get better? My black book, The Tormenting Eye, contains many secrets. Ghost Sight was one of them. With it, I can expand your senses, allow you to see the hidden, the imperceivable, the unseen. Uh, I have no doubt it will prove important in the tasks ahead of us. Tossed in your pack? I expect you to find a nice silk pouch for my gem at the first opportunity. <laughs> now, let's be off. Oh, my gem's in between my butt cheeks, apparently. Oh, hello again. 
This thread led us to a powerful ally, the spirit of a Telvanni Magister. And we learned that a Telvanni Master aids our enemies. Indeed. And plans to use one of Hermaeus Mora's own black books against him. The plot against Apocrypha becomes clearer, Proxy. The plot thickens. Tell me more about the locations I need to visit. Imagine if uh, Laram Laramil is actually the the evil person behind this all. Would you guys be surprised? I wouldn't be surprised given um, Xenomax's history with the storylines in the Elder Scrolls Online. The first person you meet is the first person you trust, but do we? Seems pretty suspicious, doesn't she? Tell me about the locations. A reasonable and prudent request. Tell me about Alavaeus. Alavaeus is a minor settlement whose only claim to fame is its Malachite quarry. Ooh. A glass mine, as the Dunma refer to it. That thread of fate vibrates with particular intensity. What you shall find there, I cannot say. But I urge caution, Proxy. Proxy. I urge... Oh, is that actually a chest? I thought it was just part of the general, like, cluster of the world. But no, it's actually a... I was like, that looks like a chest. Iron good. Girdle. Don't want to wear heavy though. Portal to the town. Let's go. I love this lady. She just zips me around everywhere. The mark of the great eye? What the hell? Who are you? It's Scrut. An eye. <gasps> oh my god. It's Mirak Sword. What? What? Where am I right now on the map? Uh, here. So we need to get this way strong. Mortals. You scurry around, obsessed with your petty affairs, and then you die. But you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. <gasps> Bruh, can I even play the game? Die, tentacle. Where is this tentacle from, and why is it attacking me? I guess probably this thing. So you've got three Cruxes, then die. Helping some kind of raid boss right now. Choose the ultimate. Oh my god, it's a giant laser beam. Double laser beam! Let's go! Oh my god, yes. I wonder if my ultimate hits on the Cruxes as well or not. Two, three... Or laser beam. I thought this class would be harder to play. It seems pretty basic. Oh my god, I just died. <laughs> I was like, it's pretty basic. Immediately dies. Oh my god, there's three of them. I can loot it this time. That's good. Adds health recovery. Oh, actually, yeah. We should probably level up. We don't need to level up. Alright. Let me go and speak to this stupid creature now. This floating eyeball. Here it is. Scrut. Mortals. You scurry around, obsessed with your petty affairs, and then you die. But you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. Have you come to replace me in my task? That would be typical. Wait. Were you sent to help me with the cultists? Before you die? Tell me about these cultists. Not much to tell. I just arrived myself. This mortal served the Great Eye, but he died before he could tell me about the other Daedric cultists that scamper about. They're creating an intolerable contradiction in reality. Makes my tentacles ache. A contradiction in reality? Something here undermines a fate recorded by Hermaeus Mora. Likely foolish mortals trying to change what has already been written. To fix this, I could use some help. Hmm. It's common knowledge that mortals prize gold. 
Eight man, I'll give you some. All right, I'll help you. Had me at gold. I prefer to sit back and wait for entropy to claim us all. But I suppose we must do something. Let's survey the town. See if anyone survived and try to determine what the cultists want here. Oh, and despite my size, I'm good in a fight. You'll see. If you say so. What can you tell me about the cultists? You mean besides the dead devotee of Hermaeus Mora? Hmm. They call themselves the Hidden Kindred. Since I could see them, the nomenclature must be ironic. I also noticed some Daedra. Dramora of Clan Dreamcarver, sworn to serve Prince Vermina. The Hidden Kindred infiltrated the Necrom Necropolis. A Periot priest called Blighttown led... Blight Crown led them. Periite and Vermina? Working together? That could be the source of the disturbance in fate. The mortal who summoned me spoke of nightmares before he died. I was just about to start my inquiries when you arrived. Pity you don't have more tentacles. <laughs> right, let's just go and check out the local town. I'm gonna get the way shrine first. Ideally with uh, leveling characters in ESO, it's always good to like just wear a mix of all the different types of armor so you can level up all the different skill lines at once. It's usually the most efficient way to do it. Just make sure you unlock all the skill lines and then put on a mix of armor. Nowadays you have to wear like five pieces to unlock. Or is it four pieces to unlock a skill line? Right, we gotta go over here. This is the humble abode. No more dreams. No more nightmares. What a horrible noise you mortals make. No, stay Where's back. it coming from? I need to wake up. I have to. What's happening? You are awake. I'm robbing you. What are you gonna do? Are you are you real? Not another one of those awful dreams. And you look undisturbed. Don't you hear the terrible whispers? Tell me what happened here. It started when a stranger came to town. A Tilvani master. She offered to purchase the old glass mine. I thought it was too good to be true. The mine closed years ago. But she offered us a chest full of gold and the village elders accepted it. Master Shelnari Bare. You know her. Master Shelreni didn't stay long. But she sent an overseer who started hiring workers immediately. Master Shelreni said she wanted the mine reopened as quickly as possible. There must be something underneath the mine. Some kind of secret lair that she wants to uncover. Maybe it's where the Dwemer went. What happened next? Everyone in the village was given a job in the mine. Then others came. Masons and additional labourers, we thought. And the dream started. Nightmares. Toiling in the darkness. Working to cut malachite and stone for an arch and a statue. An arch and a statue? In the dream, they were building an arch in the mine while we dug out the glass and stone. What wasn't used for the arch was sent to restore a statue. At least that's what the overseer said. We woke each morning exhausted, hands bloody. Where's everyone now? I don't know. But listen, the overseer and his workers, they're Daedra worshippers. They rounded up the villagers and took them away. I, I hid. Check the green glass in. The cultists commandeered it. Now please, I need to get out of here. Nightmares. Sounds like Prince Vermina, all right. We should investigate this green glass in. Okay. So there could be more than one Daedric Prince in on this. Maybe they've got the Skull of Corruption in here. Who knows? It's cute and makes you feel all gooey inside. <laughs> Head me in. How yeah. disappointing. Another name that overpromises and under delivers. <laughs> We might as well look around. On the works of Alivalis. 
Our work here nears completion. The hidden kindred have fallen. Followed your instruction carefully. The gateway will be ready as directed, and the stone you requested to rebuild the sacred statue is now on its way to the destination you provided. The Prince's Shine will soon be restored to its former glory. The Dramora, Torvasard, has arrived. He wants us to prepare to join the incursion into Apocrypha. He tells me, okay, so there's going to be an attack on Apocrypha. He tells me that though they will know exactly where they need to go to find the door he saw in his dream. Is it under the mine? I'm not sure I trust this underlying Daedra, but our prince has ordered us to obey him. For the glory of the Dreamweaver and the Prince of Pestilence. So the Dreamweaver is indeed in on this. Master Xiao Reni. Are you familiar with this mortal? Ah! I should have guessed Xiao Reni Barreau was involved in whatever happened here. Interesting. Another bed note. I purchased a glass of mine in the village. Our, kin our hidden kindred allies will construct an arched gateway there using mystic qualities of Mauchite ore. The compounds provided by Prince Periite and Prince Vermina, the Prince of Nightmares, and my own special craft spells. This will provide the portal we need to enter Apocrypha without drawing the notice of Homeris Mora. Oh, okay. Bring your dream carvers to Alivalis and wait for Torvald's signal. Do not strike early. We must secure the relic and rites before we search the door from Torvald's dream to the Prince of Fate will perceive his peril. Okay, so this is quite clever. They've done it in such a way that he cannot perceive what's actually happening, which is obviously why he sent us to find out. Deal with any loose ends as you see fit. The carvers plan to strike an apocrypha? That must be the disturbance in fate that brought me here. A disturbance in the force. I want that West Scrap needs to talk to her. I assume this would turn out to be some pointless mortal delusion. A minor contradiction easily resolved. But oblivion gateways and Daedric shrines and plans to invade Apocrypha? Ugh. This might take longer than I thought. Oh dear. What do you make of the two letters we found here? Clearly, the cult used the mine to construct a portal to Apocrypha for the express purposes of invading my master's realm. They also sent stone to restore a Daedric shrine, most likely one devoted to Periite or Vermina. But who's Master Shell Rennie? I, miss, I met Master Shell Rennie at Telrendi's. She's one of Maris Mora's Black Books. Well, she has one, sorry. Mm. Black Books open doors to Apocrypha. Why do they need a gate? Still, Telvanni masters are powerful. That makes her dangerous and important to the hidden kindred. But why go to all this trouble? It's impossible to sneak past my master's gaze. How do you call a chimer that fell into a pool of lava? <laughs> well done, though. <laughs> ah, that's very clever. A Nawa joke, indeed. Hey Danny, just join. Hope the stream's good and the DLC is fun. Yeah, DLC is really good so far. Um, I've been playing a lot of Diablo, so that's pretty intense action compared to the in-depth story and lore in the Elder Scrolls. So I'm actually kind of just chilling out and relaxing and just like you know, playing through it, which is quite nice. Um, and the I feel like the way they've kind of like uh, showed the plot initially is kind of like Hemeris Mora doesn't know what's going on. He's obviously the Daedric Prince of fate and all-knowing should know everything so we have to kind of go around figuring out what's happening uh on this trail kind of like two steps behind um and that's quite an interesting way of sort of building the plot but it hasn't started to got it to get interesting until kind of like this point really where you're like okay so you've got the daedric prince periite and um the prince of dreams trying to invade Homeris mora's realm of apocrypha why we don't really know exactly but it could hold the fate of Nern in the balance the letter mentioned a relic and a rite needed to find a door blight crown got the relic in necron blight crown sounds unpleasant but doors in apocrypha lead to secrets something this torvisard saw in a dream is that why vermina is interested i suppose we should check the mine next I hope I don't get hacked up. 
My constitution is irritating. That's good. Most of the time, the research I undertake is wasted. But my study of the area indicated that the mine runs underneath the village. The entrance lies to the east. Hmm. Why do you bear the mark of my master, mortal? You don't seem to be a devotee. I mean, you mentioned this before, but I made a deal with Mora to save Apocrypha and Nern. He called me Fate's Chosen. Of course he did. Mortals always get the special titles. But who winds up doing all the work? Usually that's me. Well, as long as we're both here, we might as well work together. What's the worst that could happen? Never mind. I already know. Any idea who Tor Vassad is? Hmm. Never heard of him. The letter we found claims he's an unaligned Dramora, working with Vermina and Periite. And with Master Shilreni, too. It's highly unusual for a Dramora not to be dedicated to a clan or a prince. Not mention of a dream. What about Torvasad's dream? Another contradiction and a flood of discrepancies. Daedra don't normally dream. Not like mortals, at any rate. Not even the Dremora who consider themselves above the rest of us. I may need to look into this Torvasad when I return to Apocrypha. Indeed. Let's go. Let's go to the mines. The mines of Moria. It's right over here. Why is everything on fire? Are mortal villages typically so broken and on fire? Look what did to this village! It's an outrage! An absolute outrage indeed. An iron girdle. Wait, is this the entrance? What? It's collapsed though. Go to the mine. I'm here in the mine. Might have to re-log if it's not triggering dialogue. Just kill this thing. Just... Let me what, sorry? Hyper beam! Oh, no, you don't. Okay, we got to level 12. Nice. What is attacking me? There's scamps here. Everything. This class is just a, a massive beam of green light, basically. It's good fun. Investigate the area. Okay, okay. What am I meant to be investigating? There's nothing here. Is it meant to be like dialogue or something? Because. Might need to relog. What's up? Let's log out and then log back in. Hey ESO, totally in love with all the content and I must say I'm always a big fan of your Skyrim content. I'm glad you enjoy it. There's actually a mod author sent me a really cool uh, Skyrim follower mod that I want to check out um, at some point when I'm going to have finish the Elder Scrolls Online DLC and then I'm going to finish Diablo in the next uh, in a couple of days. Take a day off and then probably go and check that out. So that's the plan. Let's go and play this again. Hopefully it works. This is the new Diablo 4 gameplay. No, this is not. Did I did I say that I was playing Diablo 4 or something? Have I like made a mistake? One sec. Uh Okay, now there's something spawning. What is meant to happen right here? 
There's a quest marker just here. Has anyone done this before? Everyone else is waiting here too. Like, why? Or is there another entrance that I've missed? Oh, one sec. That's the glass mine? Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's. I'm going to go over here to the glass mine entrance. Obviously, the collapsed entrance to the glass mine looks like that. And the game gave me two objectives, so I was completely confused. I feel so dumb. I'm not realizing. This is the entrance. There we go. My bad. Yeah, you may, you're like the second person who asked about double or four. So I was like, oh, double two. I suppose we'll need to go deeper inside. Indeed, let's go deep into the abyss. Follow the, just go on the tracks. Volcanic glass that absorbs magic under the right conditions. So this is what Malachite looks like? I didn't know it was so huge. The missing villagers. Mortals should have the decency not to leave their empty huts flying about. It's untidy. An arch yeah. gateway. It's inactive. But I can detect the lingering energy of Apocrypha in the air. It must have closed recently. Look we just around, missed mortal. them. We need more information before I attempt to activate this gateway. I am a detective. I will read everything. Follow these instructions to the letter. Any deviation will result in the unforeseen and most likely calamitous, calamitous event. Light Crown's concoction has been working into the stone as it has the dream essence given to us by Vermidia. Torbasad provided the coordinates and I have devised a, sp a spell to make it all work together. When the keystone is set in place, the gate will be ready. Do not activate it until Torbasad issues the command. Every time the gateway is open, the more likely Homeris Mora will notice the intrusion. The, invo the invocation to reach Apocrypha is as follows. By 7th Umbra and the Dismal Name, I bid thee open. Cathalyrus Fane? This is bad. But at least we have the invocation needed to activate the gateway. An Why is this? Your invocation. Uh, where did Shalreni dig it up, I wonder? This little flying eye is very depressive. It's like, oh, this is bad. Everything. Traditions cling to those tools like void ticks adhere to a watcher's tentacles. <sighs> I suppose we have no choice. We need to activate the gateway and follow Hermaeus Mora's enemies to Apocrypha. So we do. But heroics aren't usually part of my duties. But so it goes. I'll open the portal. Then in we go. You want me to come with you? Did I use the wrong words, mortal? My investigation is incomplete. To find out what the hidden kindred seek in my master's realm, I must follow them. And since you agreed to assist me, you must follow me. I like it less than you, believe me. What should I expect there? Oh yeah, I've played every Bioshock. Great games. Hmm. Apocrypha can be overwhelming for mortals. You may find power or despair, knowledge or madness. Still, you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. I think you're meant to go there and... Damn it all, I think I'm meant to go with you. Alright, activate the gateway. Gateway is activate. Ready yourself, mortal. Now what was that invocation? Ah. By seventh Umbra and the dismal name, I bid thee open Sephiliarch's Fane. Damn. Lego! Oh, it didn't work. Look at all these little eyes. Little eyeballs around the side. Are you ready? Are we going in this time? Let me try again. Oh, I've got to touch the portal. Apocrypha. Some awesome looking artwork of some tentacle boy. Oh, check Behold, this out. Apocrypha. 
Don't look up, Vornal. I understand your kind find our sky disturbing. Let me see. Head south. They went that way. This looks amazing. Why is it raining? Green goo. Can it rain here? That is interesting. Oh, what? I didn't know there was a whole other area of the map. This is awesome. So you've got this area and then Apocrypha, which is like equally sized, maybe even bigger. I don't know. You've got to go down here. It looks like an underwater realm, right? Like a very Lovecraft sort of deep ocean theme with these sort of coral rocks and this this ship that's crashed on the shores of Apocrypha. Like, how does that happen? Must be a pretty bad captain for that to happen, right? We'll get this way shrine and then we'll continue on. Oh, it's dead. The invaders can't be too far ahead. Husk hasn't dissipated yet. The trail continues to the west, mortal. Okay, let's go west then. West we will go. I don't think Unreal 5 really works with MMOs. Could be wrong. Actually, isn't Ashes of Creation an Unreal? weird trippy environment there's just like wet books everywhere what is this it's so alien that looks like a chapel or church right kind of creepy Olivesians, mortal the contradiction they were compelled to create hangs heavy in the air the trail continues west to the west we'll go then. Nice little tour of Apocrypha with the Watcher on that giant Eye of Sauron. Mortal Online 2 is updating to Unreal Engine 5. Really? That must be a big jump up, right? Actually, I think Scum is also on Unreal Engine. Yeah, it's directly to the Tranquil catalog. Oh, no. Pick up the pace, mortal. Hold, intruder. I failed to stop your allies, but I won't allow any more of you to enter the catalog. Well, this should be interesting. I was never allowed to visit the Tranquil catalog before. One sec, guys. Sorry, it was the door. Pardon my impertinence. Now I see that you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora and travel with one of the great ice watchlings. Have you come to aid us, stranger? I agreed to help protect Apocrypha. Tell me what's happened. Invaders forced their way into the tranquil catalog. I think they were devotees of Periite and Vermina. But how could that be? and Dreamcarver Dremora accompanied them. They killed or drove off my fellow ciphers. Who are you and what is this place? I am a humble cipher, a mortal scribe in service to the Great Eye. This is the Tranquil Catalog, a register and index of the contents of Apocrypha. Hermaeus Mora's enemies could wreak havoc with the information stored here. Where can I find these invaders? They scattered once they broke into the catalog. But two headed toward the Pool of Inquiry. A dream carver, Kinreeve, and a second Dremora with markings the likes of which I've never seen. Please, you bear the Great Eye's mark. Stop them. Don't worry, the Battle Brother. Inquiry? I know the way more. I'm already on it. This is cool artwork. 
very inspired by the Skyrim Dragonborn DLC Apocrypha with these books acting as pillars holding up the ceilings. Very cool. Search the catalog. Invaders <laughs> in the tranquil catalog. What a calamity! So many books. Laser beam. Destruction staff increased level thirty. Nice. Delete. Oh, she got me in the channel. It's the biggest weakness of this class, I would say. The channeled abilities are going to be difficult in PvP to really, like, do anything. Order of the Kindred Rector. I'm pleased to report your progress at Alivetus. Alivetus. God damn it, these names are so difficult. I explained his plan, even though they say them in the game. Every time I see it, I'm like, what? His lost stream by searching Mora's ink stained records for its hiding place. I want you to accompany Kynri Vile and Dream Carvers on their mission. Help them find the secret. Retrieve it yourself. If things do not if things are not as we have been told, remember, you serve the Dreamweaver at the Taskmaster's command. The White Crown serves Perryhead, but orders the hidden kindred to work with Vermina? Strange allies indeed. Yeah. It sounds like they're all going to end up in a bit of a civil war together. Portal to the Seal Shard. The invader shattered the portal seal. We need to follow them to the Pool of Inquiry. We. Oui. Let's go. I was afraid of this. The invaders use the sacred tears. Look around. Without them, we can't use the pool. Is this the portal? Oh, what's up? So there's a note here. A friendly reminder, reminder, if you use the sacred tears of Hemeris Mora, be considerate and replace them. Remember, your fellow Cyphers can't use the Pool of Inquiry without them. You can replenish them. Pay homage to each aspect of the Great Eye. These portals um, and... lead to the shrines where we can find more of the sacred tears. Easy, we can do that. Let's go. Shrines and tears. Bah. Even the tolerable danger will like too much of the ceremony and arcane yes. conduct. It's a disco show. Uh, never did like Spider Daedra. Cruel and deceitful creatures. I'm not surprised to find them among the dream carvers. Laser beam. I just shot out a giant tentacle. That the ciphers left them. Okay, so oh, I was inside it for a second. That was weird. Uh, so we need to go down here. Ah, oh, there's a staircase. It just blends in with the wall. Spooky. Hermora is the Great Eye's name among the Kaji. Gather the tears, mortal. Portal to Pool of Inquiry. How are you enjoying Diablo so far? Oh, I'm loving Diablo 4, yeah. I'm pretty addicted to it, not gonna lie. One of the best AAA games I've played in a long while. It's actually finished at launch and enjoyable. So yeah, I've been live streaming the main story if you want to watch that. And I've also done a few guides and tip videos that hopefully are helpful to people. But yeah, this new Ar Arcanist class is unique. I'm enjoying it. And hidden kindred lurk around every corner. Cool little shield ability as well. Let's get the tears. So you've got like these little crux signs that you stack up like this, and then you use your laser beam of, of knowledge. Just to delete everything in front of you, and it has a range of like 10 million. Hidden kindred lurk around every corner. 
I think it's going to be pretty easy to do PV stuff with this class, but I think PvP it's just going to kind of suck, to be honest. I've looked at the skills and it doesn't really seem to have a lot going for it in PvP that, you know, any competent player can just be like, or oh, interrupt, and then you're screwed. You know, if you interrupt their, like, beefed up crux attack, then that's a bit annoying. Let me check if the ultimate uses crux. Oh, you can reposition the beam by recasting the unblinking eye. That's cool. Didn't know that. This guy's armor's pretty sick. I can summon a tentacle. What does it do? Anything? Get wrecked. Just whips them, gives them a the tentacle whip. Oh, the invaders. It will take forever to put the catalog back in order. Not the catalogs. Ah. Knowledge. The power of Christ compels you. I'm getting beaten out by books, man. I need to be more careful. Hands. I'm not jealous at all. So you've got all of the Nothing tears of our enemies. Which is always good. Would anyone recommend Assassin's Creed Valhalla? I've played Origins Act 1, but I'm wondering if it's as bad as people say. Personally, I really... I played for the entirety of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The only bad thing about it is it's like really like longed out with just tons of content but the game itself is really good fun like so just play what you enjoy and then when you're sort of done you're done don't feel like you have to like just trek through everything to finish it you know but on the whole i'd say a very good game whoa oh my god i feel like i'm already in the pool i feel a bit trippy actually here we go. Just dive in. No problem. Sucked into the Mora's butt. Oh, how does this work? One of the main repositories for Hermaeus Mora's glyphics. We need to find the invaders. Ah, this is the glyphic. Now I know where to find the memory of the dream your prince helped me remember. Despite your predilections, Rel. Prince Veronina commands me to punish Mora's servants, Clanless. So I do. Excessive and pointless. But I have what I came for. I'm leaving. Do what you will. I'll deal with our eavesdroppers. Open the way, battle brother. Where'd he go? He disappeared. He's hiding. You will beg me to kill you, mortal. Oh, too powerful. Fight beside me, mortal. Closer, mortal. A snap from fake tentacle can free. Doesn't stand a chance. Oh, hello. Perhaps this will be a challenge after all. Gonna build up our crux again. Let us see how you handle a night terror. Let me hit you with a tentacle, mortal. Give me the tentacle. Let's go. Hyper beam. No mortal can best me. I'm no mortal. I am a tentacle holy man with a Bible of extreme knowledge. Hyper beam! Move here! Oh my god! Oh my god, you can move it to delete whatever you like. Yes. It's actually really difficult to aim that when it's aiming directly down. What the hell, man? What the hell? Off of that whole boss. Just getting noped. 
Where the heck am I anyway? Wait, I respawned all the way back here. Oh. Back into the hole. Yeah, that storyline's pretty sus, you know, with the... You don't have to make that choice to steal your brother's wife, then. You're obviously a massive cuck if you do. Activatus Glyphysis. Poems emerge from the Glyphic. Read them, mortal. The Pact of the Primordial. The Pact Primordial prohibits Daedric Princes from entering another's realm. But that's hardly a secret. Dreams of the Forgotten. Tempestard said he was trying to remember a lost dream. He believes he can find it in my master's realm. Black book for a dire purpose. An eye? That's one of my master's black books. These tomes were reluctant to dispense their information. Glyphics endure for eternity. I've never heard of any erasing themselves before. Very strange. Do you understand the texts that remain mortal? I found the words very disturbing. What did you make of the free books? One concerned the Pact Primordial. Could they be seeking a way to subvert that ancient restriction? The second mentioned lost dreams, such as the one Torvisard seeks to recover. It told of a place in Apocrypha to find such misplaced memories. But the exact location wasn't in the lines of text that remained. No. But we have to assume Torvisard learned the location before the text faded away. The final book referred to one of Hermaeus Mora's most infamous black books, The Tormenting Eye. It said it contains a right for unlocking dangerous secrets. Master Shereni has the black book. Tell me about the significance of the Pact Primordial. The Pact refers to ancient laws that bind the Daedric Princes. No prince may physically intrude in another's realm. Everyone knows that. Well, perhaps not mortals. That they sought out the tome tells us something important. What does it tell us? The invaders found a way to enter Apocrypha undetected. Perhaps they hoped to open a path for one or more of the rival princes? That would be disastrous. There's nothing more we can do here. It's time to exit the Tranquil Catalog. All right. One moment and I'll conjure up a portal. Oh, I love this. Conjure me a portal. Oh, it's a bit gooey, but let's go. The more gooey, the better. It appears we're in no immediate danger. We can speak here, mortal. Oh, it's Miri. I was wondering who that was. I've never faced such a convoluted contradiction of fate before. While we learn the cause of the incongruity, I wasn't able to make the necessary corrections, unfortunately. At least we chased off Torvazard and defeated the Kinreeve. Is there anything else I can do to help? You want to help me? What a strange mortal you are. But resourceful. I'm not sure I would have learned anything at all without your assistance. Here's the gold I promised. You earned it. And farewell. I... Wait. My master, Hermaeus Mora, wants to speak with you, mortal. He will use me as his vessel. Okay, what's happening? Know that the Prince of Secrets addresses you, chosen of fate. I can observe through my watchling's eyes, speak through them, even act through them when necessary. You and Scrooge uncovered a threat before even I became aware of it. That concerns me. Orvisard and the hidden kindred found a way to enter Apocrypha undetected. But 
You and Scrooge were not fooled. For that, I give you a gift. So that I may better aid you against this ongoing threat to my realm and yours. I will make this watchling available to you for the duration of our agreement. Now, Laramil comes. Where is she? So many NPCs, sir. Ah, here she is. I came as soon as I heard, Proxy. I knew what Hermaeus Mora predicted, but I never truly imagined invaders in Apocrypha. Disgusting. We have examined the threads of fate and learned much. Return to the Necron Bindery and we shall determine our next steps. Laramel the Let's go. You know this mortal too? Then understand. The robot and hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy? Yeah, fair enough. Where is everyone? Oh, oh! You can just go through these portals. Someone mentioned that earlier, but now I have seen. We meant to go round here then. Ah, here they are waiting for me. The balcony. A just meeting spot. The Dane of Necron. You tend the archive of corpses. Never heard it called that before. But yes. Yes, I do. Would, would you like a tour of the catacombs? Perhaps later. Hermaeus Mora's proxy returns. Ah, of course. I'm sure the two of you have much to discuss. Who's about to get to second base? Three labors were set before you, proxy. Now Vermina, Periite, and Master Shell Rennie stand revealed as our foes. I have been speaking with Curate Gadain. I find him intriguing. <laughs> but I wish to hear it from you. What did you find in Necrom Abbey? Periot's cult infiltrated the Abbey. Blightcrown stole a relic from the catacombs. Just as Gadain told me then. Indeed. The Fulcrum Obscura. The hidden kindred are well named. Although I understand you prevented them from escaping with the complete relic. Let us move on. What happened after we parted ways at Terrendis? I rescued Meln from Master Shalrani. Shalreni. Without him, she can't easily de decipher the Black Books. Black Books serve as doorways into Apocrypha. A master such as Shalreni Barrow likely has other ways to reach Hermaeus Mora's domain. So why is this particular book so important to her? Hmm. Vermina's find in Alavelis. Vermina's servants built a gate to Apocrypha so they could break into Tranquil the Tranquil catalog. Able to invade Apocrypha unnoticed and break into the realm's master index. Our enemies are bold and capable, it seems. Three different locations and three different schemes. They must be connected, but how? What are Mora's foes trying to do? Maris, Mora's enemies are searching for a key, a right, a forgotten dream, perhaps. Ah, oh, I believe I see. The relic must be the key. The secret Vermina's servants sought in Apocrypha is the location of the dream. And the Black Book is needed for the right they plan. Clever. Someone put them up to this. But who? A Dramora named Torvasad plotted with Master Shelani, Blightcrown, and Vermina. Ah, yes, Torvasad. Well done, Proxy. Now we have a name for the spider at the center of this web. Key, right, and dream. These are the threads we must follow to unmask our foe's true goal. Take this, with the thanks of Hermaeus Mora. I have been conversing with Curate Gadain. 
I find him interesting. But now we must return to the business at hand. The fates of two worlds depend on what we do next, Proxy. Shall we proceed? Have you determined what hidden kindred's plan to do with the Reddick and the Right? I admit the particulars of their plan currently elude me. Clearly they believe the Relic, this Fulcrum Obscura, and the Right are key to remembering the dream they seek. To stop them, we must learn more about the dream and the secret it holds. How do we do that? We go to Apocrypha. The stacks of Cyphers Midden contain the most extensive collections of tomes and treatises in all the known realms. If answers to our questions exist, we will find them there. Will you continue to aid me in this endeavor? I will go you I will go with you to Cypher's Midden. The portal in the room downstairs connects to the endless library of Apocrypha. Once there, head northwest and meet me at Cypher's Midden. Our research begins there. Since Curate Gadane is intent on recovering the relic, he shall accompany us. Why are there portals to Apocrypha in an abandoned booked book binary? Where better to hide oblivion portals than inside a ruined bookshop? This is just one of many studies I utilize across Tamriel. I even have a site in Apocrypha from which I can conduct my research. In Cyphers Midden, to be exact. Tell me more about Cyphers Midden. The Cyphers of the Eye established the site as a headquarters of sorts. These mortals have come to Apocrypha at the invitation of Hermaeus Mora. They maintain and study the many libraries of the realm. It is both a refuge and a place of learning. What do you know about the Hidden Kindred? Daedric cultists that regard themselves as part-time rivals and full-time enemies would only band together under direct orders from their princes. Obviously, their cooperation relates directly to the threat the one who knows has foreseen. Right, the threat against Apocrypha, that also endangers now. The unravelling of reality, Hermaeus Mora called it. All because Vermina, Periite, and Torvasard seek to find a dream, remembered only in Apocrypha. We must ferret out why. Hopefully the knowledge stored in Cyphers Midden will aid our investigation. Remind me again what's going on here. <laughs> Curate Gadane. Are you certain you wish to accompany us? Absolutely. The relic is my responsibility. Let me just grab a few essentials. I'll be right back. Fate provides the aid we need, Proxy. We will meet you at Cypher's Midden. Farewell, my lady. Just dies. <laughs> Oof. Uh, okay, so. Where is Cypher's Midden? Isn't that in the Apocrypha? Yes, it is. No, it's not, actually. Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, it's going to be cool to explore some of this, then. I should have unlocked this way shrine. A fool I am. Oh, Egypt is very interesting, I agree. I never played that Assassin's Creed game, though. But, um, I do... I am fascinated by the ancient pyramids. Apocrypha. The Oblivion Realm of Hermaeus Mora. In life, I came here often. What is that? That looks creepy if he's crawling like that. Why is he crawling like that? It's weird. Ugh, the sound of this water. It sounds weird. What is this, then? Oh my god! What the hell? It's a, a book trap, apparently. There's a trap! Love that. Very cool design. Very unique and interesting. What is this weird critter? So many strange things. Have you unlocked any ultimates yet? Yeah, yeah, I've got an ultimate. It's basically 
a vertical laser beam eye that comes out of a watcher's eye that you have to that you can reposition it it's kind of like a laser beam that fires down you can reposition it like this it's pretty cool i haven't unlocked the other ultimates um just because well yeah i've just not uh, i've wanted to level this up to level 20 though i really want to get fate weaver's armor and i want abyssal impact which is like a massive debuff that looks really powerful like using that and then using the ultimate that's going to be like a, a mega wombo combo debuff then ulti i liked the yeah 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 definitely Rogue is another great example of where I didn't like the location, so I didn't enjoy the game very much. Oh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I didn't play that one. We should hear some more about the next Assassin's Creed game soon, though. Ubisoft Forward event is coming up on... The 12th off Starfield Direct. The day after. After I download ESO, there's more download. How long does it take? My phone... My pause button turned grey and stuck at 11%. Uh, have you capped it on the internet? Download. The amount that you can download. Look at that giant jellyfish thing flying around in the air. What the hell is that? What is that? It's just zoom zooming around. There's two of them. Oh, giant black hole. It's <laughs> just literally like I've never seen like a developer use just like a black something that black in the in the sky. It looks a bit disconcerting, like it's unfinished or something. One confounded thing. Oh, this is one of the new followers, by the way. Azander. He seems really cool. Um, but I don't want to do his quest yet. Do the main story. Maybe I'll grab him for tomorrow's stream. So you guys can uh, check out one of the followers at least. So here we are at the town in Apocrypha made out of books. This is weird, man. I don't know where she is where we're meeting her. Can we go up here? Over oh, she's... Here. She's over there. I really want to go up this ladder because it just looks like a cool balcony. I wonder if you get a house here because this is this is pretty cool. Is there an apocrypha house? Or is it just like one of those big houses? I don't really like the big houses. I prefer the smaller ones. I trust your trip through the endless library was not too unsettling. The winding paths of apocrypha can prove troubling to those unfamiliar with its preternature. Cypher's Midden contains a wellspring of knowledge. Shall we begin our research? How are we going to find anything useful in all these books? The Cyphers of the Eye offer hospitality and refuge to mortals who arrive in Apocrypha, whether purposefully or by accident. However, I am reluctant to involve them in this endeavor. Fortunately, I have my own methods for conducting research. What sort of methods? The contents of these stacks change from moment to moment, such as the nature of this realm's thirst for knowledge. I can prepare a spell scroll for each of us. As you search, it will dredge up anything related to the parameters I set for the spell. Parameters? All research requires parameters. This spell should locate information pertaining to the Fulcrum Obscura, the Rite, and Torvasard's Lost Dream. Use the scroll's enchantment to aid your search. Then return here, and we shall compare notes. All right. Scour the stacks, Proxy. The magicka I infused into your scroll shall assist you by retrieving any relevant tomes from their resting place. Meet me in my nearby study when you have completed your search. You have a study in Apocrypha? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. What a curious query. Where else would I research and ponder the knowledge that the one who knows deigns to share? It is a humble refuge, nothing more. Humble. Now, we really must see what information we can draw from the stacks of Cypher's Midden. 
What do we know about the relic, the rite, and the dream? I keep asking the same question. She still doesn't know. You and Gadain recovered a portion of the relic, the Fulcrum Obscura, from the catacombs of Necron. The rite appears to be related to a black book once in the possession of Magister Meln. Both seem to be essential to the enemy's search for a dream. How can they search for a dream? Apocrypha contains all secrets and knowledge. Whether they be dreams or memories or tomes, they all wind up here. We know that Torvasard learned something at the Tranquil Catalogue. We need to conduct our own research now and try to get ahead of them. How can they find a dream in Apocrypha? That is what we must determine. The various repositories of Apocrypha are infinite. Books, glyphics, vaults. We have ascertained that if this particular secret is uncovered, it has the potential to destroy reality as we know it. That must not happen. It's interesting. I wonder whose dream it is and how it would destroy reality. Search the stacks. We've got to go over here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think a lot of open world games, like with the Assassin's Creed formula, I call it, it is very much like once you've played through a few regions, you've kind of played through the entire game in terms of like the rep rep repetitiveness of like uh, the activities that you're going to be doing. Now, there are some like stories and stuff that obviously vary within that. But, um, 20% chance to pickpocket Daedra. It looks cool. But I think for the most part, you kind of experience quite a lot of the game in that sense. And then you're just kind of like, okay, how much do you want to make the player do X activity over and over again before they kind of get bored? Um, and it's kind of like, how many ways can you deliver that? And how many different ways are there this to do? This might contain something important. Okay, this one. Oh wow! That book from the stack. Quick, grab it. What a disconcerting feeling! One day everything is fine, the next worry and anxiety fill your every wake. Excuse me, waking moment, and you're certain something is missing, something important, something vital. I'm experiencing that now. I feel that there is something I knew in intimately and completely yesterday vanished not a trace remains except for a vague dream my work suffers and i've asked my fellow ciphers if they're experiencing the same loss they look they quickly look away refusing to answer i know this sounds insane but i think reality has somehow changed someone or something has erased what was true and absolutely just yesterday and the worst part is i have no idea what i lost my superior has cautioned me against this but I must speak directly to the great eye. If something altered reality, surely our master would want to be informed. Dude, this is so much more... Oh, this one page made the story, like, a lot more interesting to me. That's, that's really cool. That's really interesting. Perhaps I'll even be rewarded with noticing this change. I guarantee he's dead. An ancient tome describing lost memories barely remembered in a dream? Mm, too bad you only retrieved a few pages. Over here. See if that scroll never know game who actually works. Yeah, the new like the Basim story arc's really cool. Don't want to store that. Spoil that for you. When the great eye answered the prayers of the mortal prior and granted him the runes needed to craft a relic of Apocrypha. The Fulcrum Obscura, the Lord's secrets imbued the runes with the power to locate and uncover secrets no matter where they may hide, and the Prior inscribed them on an ancient bone related to Necrom history. Now it is of the opinion of this cipher that the Prince of Fate never intended for the mortal to retain the relic, nor was it meant to remain forever entombed within the catacombs of Necrom. I expect the Great Eye to retrieve the Fulcrum Obscura at some point, or grant it to another of the faithful when the time is right. Until then, allow me to record the miracles 
ascribed the relic ascribed to the relic for what other gift of Homerus Mora allows a devotee to locate a place desired or reveal a secret of great importance, for example? It's almost as though someone is eliminating these books the moment you find them. Mm, at least you recovered something. This is getting more interesting. Mm, this stat looks promising. A brittle old tome. Handle it carefully. Oh my god, it disintegrated into one page. A place that exists inside a pocket realm of Apocrypha. The infinite Panpritorkan serves as Himeris Mora's secure repositories of secret knowledge. In addition to being hidden in a shifted dimension, the entrance to the Panpritorkan and Panopatokian. Bloody hell. It's like a dyslexic's worst nightmare. In a shifted dimension, the entrance to the the oh, bloody hell constantly moves. It never appears in the same location twice. Other defenses are rumored to protect it, including shifting chambers and corridors. Oh, this is like the so inside the black books, like in Skyrim, and how to unlock the knowledge of the black book. An army of the hushed and other guardians too powerful and obscure to describe accurately what secret of knowledge demands such precautions you may ask only knowledge that the great eye considers too dangerous or too revealing to be trusted to anyone's care except his own legend claims that these secrets are stored in books and scrolls in glyphs of specific designs to which these fragments of mora own memory contained within its own free floating eyes it is said that spending too long within these locations will drive the mortal's mind insane. The book crumbled to dust. Uh, hopefully the pages you recovered contain something relevant. Yeah, the first page was definitely most interesting, but for sure. Another disturbance in the currents of fate, and what do I find? The Great Eye's mortal surrogate. Once again, the water of fate ripples with unnatural disturbances. As if some huge clod tossed a rock into a still pond. And what huge clod do I find at the center of these ripples? The Great Eye's mortal surrogate. What ripples are you talking about? As I explained on the mortal plane, I am tasked with aligning wrinkles in the annals of fate. How I accomplish that is totally up to me. But when something alters fate's prescribed path, it makes ripples. Just like the one I followed here. We're searching these stacks for information about the relics, the rites and the dream. Interesting. It would be good to know more about what the agents of Vermina and Periite seek in my master's realm. Did anything out of the ordinary occur while you were conducting your search? All of the books we found crumbled before we could get more than a little information out of them. I was afraid of that. Whatever you're involved in may be beyond my jurisdiction. I suspect the secrets you hope to uncover fall under the direct protection of Apocrypha itself. The Great Eye has put precautions in place to keep them hidden. What does that mean exactly? It means you have been given an impossible task. And it may taint my otherwise spotless record. This is not good. Not good at all. Take whatever you learned and bring it to Larimal the Wise. Hopefully she can make sense of this conundrum. I don't understand why this has you so upset. Well, I guess it's literally her job to to follow me around and address anomalies. Of course not. Why would you? You're only mortal. You were selected to help Hermaeus Mora save Apocrypha and Nern. To do that, you must uncover the very secrets the Great Eye's enemies pursue. Secrets that can unravel reality as we know it. And I think all the books we crumpled because... And I think all the books crumpled because of some protection Hemeris Mora has in place. Obviously. Everything of Apocrypha is of Hermaeus Mora. Only through the Great Eye's will could the sacred tomes be destroyed. You were chosen. And then I was unlucky enough to become involved. <laughs> For good or ill, our fates have become tangled. And that means... For me to complete my task, you must succeed in yours. Which is clearly impossible since you can't overcome Apocrypha's protections. Which means you won't be able to save fate. 
So I suppose it doesn't really matter. Reality will unravel soon enough. Hmm. Let's go back outside. I like how this character just doesn't seem to care about the ongoings. We need to take this, guys. Am I sneaking yet? Hidden. Yes. yes. Oh my god, yes. Amazing. An elder cheese wheel, but it turned into a bowl of cheese. Landed in that cart. If there was uh, some hay there, we would have survived the fall. Friend, Laramil is waiting for you in her study. I'm coming, you fool. Don't tell me what to do. There's like a thousand players in there. The Midden stats have been reluctant to yield the answers I had hoped for. Apocrypha itself works against you. But the Great Eyes surrogate had some success. Indeed. Indeed. Were you able to successfully gather research on the relic, the right, and the lost dream? Every time I thought I found something relevant, it crumbled or burned up before I could examine it. Same, but I saved these pages concerning the relic, lost memories, and infinite anopicate... So you experienced something blah, blah, blah. similar? As though the stacks were actively trying to keep the information hidden. Still, you managed to save some of the research. A reflection of your role as fate's proxy, perhaps. Let me peruse these pages. I'm not sure why any of this actually means or how it's going to help us. Hmm. This implies the relic was specifically created to reveal hidden secrets. Do these secrets pertain to the ancient cipher's report regarding the dream of a lost memory? And this last one? Could the enemy be seeking the infinite panopticon? Panopticon? What is the infinite panopticon? Only one of Hermaeus Mora's most secure repositories of secret knowledge. It That's what it said in the pages. The pocket realm of Apocrypha. I read that, the yeah. the entrance constantly shifts locations. Of course. They must be using the Fulcrum Obscura to reach the Panopticon. It literally says it in the pages. Why are you telling it back to me like you're a genius? So, how do we use this information that I found? You and Gadain must use the part of the relic you possess to do the same as the enemy. Locate the entrance to the Panopticon. There are cairns throughout the realm. Sprinkle this dust of conjunction on three of them. Okay. And let Cadain apply the relic. I shall. How do these cairns help us find the entrance to the infinite Panopticon? Applying the dust to the three cairns I marked on your map will form a matrix of magicka. Okay, Preston. Cadain shall use the relic on each. Then I can perform a ritual to locate the Panopticon's entrance. I shall also give Gadain a gift. Something to protect him. A gift? A charm that will provide Gadain with some measure of safety as you travel through Apocrypha. Please keep him safe, Proxy. Even with the charm, he seems overly fragile. I'll Each watch him. should glow after the successful application of dust and relic. I'll watch out for Cretain. Research is often a series of trials and errors. But yes, this should work. In addition to its normal properties, the relic should also seek out its other half. After you activate the three cairns, return here. Then I shall complete the ritual. Very well. Today, take this charm. It shall mark you as my guest in Apocrypha and keep you safe. That's most thoughtful, Laramel. Thank you. The infinite panopticon is kept hidden for a good reason, Laramil. Which is why we must locate it and protect it from the enemy. This is the sort of quandary that makes my tentacles twitch. Jesus. Okay, let's go and do everything for them. The DLC looks interesting, but I find the Elder Scrolls Online so boring. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, like, personally, I think the quests are quite interesting from a lore perspective, though sometimes they can be a bit of a slow burn. And I also think that, like, rec like very recently, I've been enjoying the PvP in Elder Scrolls Online. I just find, like, 
PvE is good fun. And like the dungeons are okay and whatnot. But like when you're actually against another player, I feel like that's a lot harder. And um, obviously there's some builds that are just really broken. But beyond that, I find that competitiveness of trying to beat the other player and, you know, just the best person winning. That's quite a fun sort of dynamic that doesn't get boring simply because, you know, you're against someone else playing the game. Um, so, yeah, it's like, I guess one of the reasons why I like more balanced PvP games like Valorant and League of Legends as well. Which I go on and off now and again. But yeah, ESO PvP, actually been recently enjoying it quite a bit for the first time sort of getting into it. Do you think Laramil has read all these books? I think there's so much in this game that there's something that you'll find interesting, but you've just got to find what it is, and that takes effort and time. Activatus Pilaritus. I suppose I just need to hold the relic out like so. YOLO. It, it almost feels alive in my hand. It works. Some gas. Look how it glows. Very smart. Liramil's tapping into the realm's currents of fate to find the Panopticon. Okay. We. Okay, so we've got to go over here now. Across this gloopy mess. Sounds moist. Bro, if I collect how many people called games boring, I would be a millionaire. 100%. I had people on the stream yesterday when I was playing Diablo 4. And they were like, oh my god, looks like a mobile game. Dude, that game's like graphically stunning. Laramil's amazing. Who else could help us find the Panopticon? But like some people, especially like recent generations, they see like a top-down game. They've not ever heard of Diablo before. And they're like, oh, it's a mobile game. I'm like, dude, you don't understand Diablo. And some, some people are like, oh, if the game was um, first person, it, I, it would be much better. And I'm like, what? Laser beam of death. Wouldn't be a Diablo game if it was um, first person. Give me a moment to focus the Fulcrum Obscura. Let me help you focus. Oh, knowledge. Does that help? He's shaking I his head. How dangerous this sort of ritual can be. Very most brave. I'll give her that. Gonna unlock the way shrine, then carry on. Yeah, no, I think Diablo 4 is kind of like an amalgamation of everything that was good about Diablo 3, but they finally like nailed it, you know? Even the story, in my opinion, is like a big step up, and the world and open worldness is done very well. One of the big fallbacks on that game is the fact that they haven't really taken any risks. Do you think this is gonna. Oh my god, what's this? What is this thing? Study of the Lost Cipher discovered. This is cool. I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna go in here for like a second then. What is this? this oh, there's. Seem right. Let's go back. No, I'm. Oh my god, there's so many stolen items here. Look at all this loot. Let me hit the bookshelf. Thank you. This doesn't seem right. Let's go back. Okay. Oh, wait, what's this? It's another trunk. Alright, let's go back to Apocrypha. What, you, you mean if the Elder Scrolls game didn't have fighting, you would prefer it? Really? <laughs> it's like... A weird sound. It's a giant snail shell with some weird creature coming out of it there. This place is so weird, I love it. How do I get up there? Like, who? What? what is this? Help me! I'm stuck in a river of emotion. 
shut up. You don't know anything. Why is my horse having a spasm attack? Okay, here we go. Apocrypha is so strange. I love it. Look at that. What is that thing up there? That looks amazing. I want a house that looks like that, that thing. Like on its side as well. I think there was a player on the Elder Scrolls Online. I saw like a YouTube video years ago. Where they'd like built a house like upside down or something. And it looked amazing. It was really disconcerting. It was kind of like... It looked like um, an MC Escher drawing. You know, like with the staircase that's like infinitely going round in circles. So you don't know which way's up and which way's down. Activates. Dust applied. Now to use the relic. I'm gonna go back to the study. I will see you later, alligator. Oh my! It wriggles in my hand. It wriggles in my hand. Got 10 gigabytes All download done. left before my first time in ESO. Awesome, dude. Enjoy. Don't get too overwhelmed. There's a lot to take in for new players for sure. It's very intense. Yeah. Where is she? She's in this big building. Over here, in the middle. I prefer first person myself. But like I'm playing this game third person because it's an MMO. Cans have been activated, Laramil. Well done. Now, to complete the ritual. Magic. I feel the ebb and flow of apocryphal. Some guide me. Others try to. Oh, Laramil, do be careful. I told you. The Parker doesn't give up its secrets without a price. Got it! Oh, Laramel. Curate Cadane's concern is appreciated but unwarranted, Proxy. Okay. I have been sifting through Apocrypha's secrets long enough to know my limits. And the ritual performed just as I hoped it would. Still, I could use a moment to regain my strength. So we're just going to bust him with a question now. So you located the hidden entrance. The ritual directed me to the desolate northwest reaches of the Chroma Incognito. I sense the entrance we seek there, as well as the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. Hmm. Our enemy must have also located the entrance, or is close to doing so. What should we do? Let me mark the location on your map. Go quickly, Proxy. I shall follow and meet you there after I make sure Curate Cadane gets back to Nern safely. All right. Go to the northwest region of the Chroma Incognito and see what you can find, Proxy. I shall catch up with you in due course. Spring. In due course? In due course. Please make sure Curate Reminds me of um, some, some way some people I knew would finish emails thinking they were all like... In due, uh, in due course. It's like when I was buying a house from a solicitor. That's how he would sign off emails. Oh, a follow up in due course. Nah. Nah. Uh, right, so we need to go over here. All the way to the west. It's not northwest, though, is it? Well, it's kind of very slightly north. Yeah, you would get put into the new expansion when you spawn, that's right. As soon as you've done the initial starting area. What are these weird red skies over here? It was green earlier. Look at this, this is nuts. It's so trippy. What is that? It's a train track. Holy moly. My god. It's a seeker. Ow. What's this? It was a chest to take the seeker on in battle. 
I will do battle with you, Seeker. Delete us, Seekerus. Never look at me again. Let's see if we get something cool. One of the new item sets. Let's have a look. What's in the box? Oh my god, Homestum Greaves of Stamina. Disgusting. A tome of unknown colour. Oh no, no, don't take me somewhere. The colour was red, I'll tell you that much. The sounds are weird. Like, I don't know how they made the sounds of these creatures, but they're creepy. Almost knocked me off my horse. I just level up. Ah. I will take the seasoning. Ha ha! Ha ha! Did this come out today? It did. It's on PC. You can grab it from the link below. 23% off though. Oh my god, it's broken guys! It's broken! I can see through the map. Oh my god, uninstalled. Disgusting. The game is ruined. 1 out of 10 IGN. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually been really good so far. That's the first, the first, like, slight bug we've ever seen. Oh, I love it. Probably found the one hole in the map. They're like, damn it! Can't believe this one YouTuber streaming it. Saw that one hole in the map. Hope no one loses their job over that. Yeah, no, really enjoying it so far. The game is very good. I mean, look at this place. It's it's wild. It looks like a fever dream. And I missed the way shrine. Damn it. We'll go back and get it later. But where is that? Where? Like... Looks weird. Oh, hello. Should we go through here? By all the tomes of Apocrypha. We found the entrance to the infinite panopticon. I found it. I always find it, not you. The ritual Stop taking worked, credit. Proxy. We located the entrance to the infinite panopticon. At least, until it moves again. Let us head inside and try to stop the hidden kindred from locating the secret they seek. You think the hidden kindred are already inside? I know not which of our enemies have entered the panopticon. I know but not. The ritual latched onto both the hidden entrance and the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. They must have used the relic to find this place. Not unlike how we did it. I only play Surly, yes, I have no friends. What should we expect once we enter the infinite Penticon? Legends say the Panopticon is an endless Panopticon. labyrinth of rooms and passages. But nothing inside conforms to reality as we know it. It protects some of Hermaeus Mora's most precious secrets, and powerful guardians roam its lengths. Shall we proceed? Shall we? All right. Prepare yourself, Proxy. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Well, that's what I like about them, leaving the game open for us to mess with. Literally. Literally. Oh my god. What was that? Oh. We have entered the infinite panopticon. Yeah, boy. Where Look at this. Is. That hunger is a native to this? Apocrypha. See how it shifts between the layers of reality? Attack while it's shifted, and its energy Aww. can power my ghost sight. It's so cute, though. Look at how adorable it is. What the hell? Oh. <gasps> I didn't know it would die. I didn't think I could kill it. Wait, why does it have guts in? I thought it would have, like, books. What is this? Let's kill it. Die. Ready? Laser beam. 
extreme damage. I really need to move that laser beam, otherwise it doesn't do anything. Yaw. Oh wait, I'm meant to be doing something else to do damage. Sorry, what do you want me to do? Step into something? What are you doing? You're just pretending to use magic. Okay, here we go. Now we can damage it. Laser beam! You see the interrupts? Nightmare for this class. Laser beam! I need him to use his ghost ability again. There we go. Probably wouldn't have survived that. If you say so. Let's go into the... I always wonder if Mora wants to have every book after learning the contents of the Lusty Argonian Maid. I think he started with his collection of the Lusty Argonian Maid, to be honest. Careful, Proxy. I sense corruption in the air. Right. This malignancy allows the corrupted guardians to phase between layers of reality. When we get close, use my ghost sight to find the source. The current of fate shall revitalize you. Why don't the seekers drop books? Disgusting. What am I looking for? Everything's tripping out in here, man. Look at this place, it looks amazing. Oh, who's this then? Corrupted Lurker, eh? Big damage, big damage. Oh, excellent laser beam damage. Hey, this class is just one giant massive laser beam. It's like a laser beam go. As this whole class. Use my ghost sight. There's something nearby. The class has other abilities, but why use them when you can just use the laser beam? That's all you need. The sensor of corruption is a masterpiece. Who knew that combining the stuff of dreams with a malignant sickness into an infectious torment could create something so powerful and useful? The guardians of infinite panopticon panabot oh my god have succumbed to the corruption admitted by the sensors. Not only does this render us invisible to them, but it also turns them into crazed monsters that will attack anyone that dares enter this place. I'm not sure if this will serve to hide us from the prince of this disgusting realm, but I shall continue this work with Master Shalani to increase its potency. As I and, and, and the Dramora, Torvasad, search this information we need. Shalani will return to the Talani Peninsula and continue her efforts to extract the right from the Black Book. Ah, okay. And this was the corruption potion we can break. Damn it! There's more than one? What did you do, Proxy? The corruption has lessened, but it persists. It has lessened, yet... Persists. Hmm. Ah. What is this thing? Where are these stupid corrupting things anyway? There, is that one? No. Must be one around here somewhere. Laser beam! Laser beam! Look at the range on this, man. It's just nutty. Laser beam. Everything gets deleted. Just swing my arms around like this and get healing too. It's amazing. I love it. Alright, so. Now we need to find this... Uh, Oh, there's a, there's a lurker here. One more 
Use my ghost sight. I'm busy right now, buddy. Laser beam. Accept the knowledge. Is it here? There it is. I've found it. Another sensor destroyed. Without my ghost sight, you'd never find them. This guy constantly well reminds done. me. The corruption's hold weakens. So where is the last one then? Is it underneath me? Yolo. It's the fastest way down, boys. I must have run past it at some point, right? So I can't see it. This is the top level, is it not? There's a door there. What's up? What's that? So where's the last one? That's the question. YOLO? Oh, it's down here. Ah. That was the last sensor. The corruption should clear on its own now. Whatever you just did, I sense the corruption fading away. Let us talk. Come here then. Whatever you did, it worked. The corruption dissipates even as we speak. According to Blight Crown's notes, they are using the corruption as some sort of method to avoid detection. <laughs> Is that how they plan to elude the gaze of the one who knows? Ah, <laughs> uh, Kev, do it. How you doing, mate? Book nerd! <laughs> Mate, I literally have a laser beam that fires knowledge at people's faces. And there's so much knowledge that they can't handle it, they just immediately die. <laughs> it's the most powerful thing you've ever seen in your life. You can't beat the knowledge. Do you understand what Blight Crown's corruption is doing? I believe so. He has somehow combined the power of dream with the power of pestilence to shift between the layers of this reality. They are here. But not here. Effectively hidden from the all-seeing gaze of Hermaeus Mora. So how do we follow them? The power of the ritual we use to locate the Panopticon lingers. We can use it to focus on the portion of the Fulcrum Obscura that Torvasard and Blightcrown carry. We can follow its trail directly to them. All right, let's track down the stolen relic. By the way, Kevin, how was Gollum? I heard, I heard you played it, but I've not seen your video yet. I really want to watch it. I saw Skillup's review of the game. What did they do to my boy? <laughs> Alright, let's track down the stolen relic. I shall concentrate the residual power of my ritual into a final tracking spell. Follow where the energy leads. Goodbye. I bet it's at the top of this stupid staircase that I jumped down. Attack of the knowledge. Oh! Are you ready? Firing knowledge. Knowledge! Look at that damage that the knowledge does. He's cloning himself, but he's nothing compared to the knowledge of the Bible. The power of Christ compels you. What is this? Are you guiding me to the relic thing? More book power. In my opinion, Gollum is rather underdone. It needs work. Dude, that game is just like everything that's wrong with... I mean, it had AAA marketing, but it doesn't look like a AAA game. I don't know what happened with the development of that game. But it just... It looked like... I don't know. Just with the animations, the game design, everything. I'm not sure how it got signed off as something they thought they should make. 
It just makes me hope um, that the other, the MMO coming out, which is coming out from Amazon, the, the Lord of the Rings. Oh, thanks. It's going to be better because, man. Is this where I'm going? I'm just following this thing around in circles. Locate the Fulgrim Ex Obscuria. Where is it going? Now you want to go down here? Now it's coming back? What? We got to go through this door at the top. I believe this is the way. I don't actually know what floor it's on. Is that the door? Must be. It reminds me of the old Oblivion gates when you used to go through, work your way up to the top, grab the sacred stone. From Obscura through this door. Yes, thank you. You could have, you could have shown me the way. Oh my Her God! Mora has set a guardian gaze to protect the way ahead. We Holy moly. Yo, what was if I stand in it? Oh my god. The Eye of Sauron is not happy to see me. Quickly. I must take the ring for the fires of Mandu. It's coming. The Eye of Sauron is coming. What's this? How do I activate? The Guardian's vision is similar to my ghost sight. Nothing escapes its notice. Activating the room, got the oh my god, it blinds a bit. There must be more. That'll do it. I activate this one too. Blind it. From this side. Find and activate the remaining room. Oh, it's underneath there, okay. Look, I'm trying to activate it, but the Eye of Saren is staring at me right now. Activate all of the corrupted rooms and I'm trying. Past the eye. I know, I know, I understand the objective. Activate us, Runus. Okay, now we can activate it. Nice. The Guardian appears rattled by those Periite runes. I would be rattled too if there was a giant laser beam of light shining in my one eye. Rattle him again. Now, through the portal to the north. We distracted him with laser beams. Laser beams. Your laser beam is not as powerful as mine, tiny eyeball. Ha ha ha. What's this then? What we seek is here. Another eye. It looks like all the others to me. Have faith, diseased one. This eye contains the memory of the dream we seek. Then let's get this over with. I can't hide us between the layers of reality much longer. Ah, fates mortals. I have no wish to harm you. Turn back and let us finish what we started. He took no damage. They dare enter one of Hermaeus Mora's forbidden memories. We must follow them. Let me open a portal. Proceed carefully. Between the energy here and Light Crown's manipulation of reality, Liramil's portal could behave erratically. I knew it. We're not where Liramil intended, and now she's missing. Spell casting should be left to the professionals. Look about us. Another portal? I knew it. Blightcrown's manipulation of the layers of reality caused Liramil's spell to splinter. Well, step on through, and hope we will reach the layer we're looking for. I knew it! I knew it! I'm right again! This guy, man. His whole personality. Classic Telvani wizard. Where's Lairel? Laser beam. Oh my god, he was almost reading the pages of the book. 
It was too powerful for him. Keep moving through the portals. You use the Lusty Argonian Maid um, as the book, and you show it to people. They can't handle the contents. Each portal gets us one step closer to the Eye of Mora. Jesus, we've, we've given him the slip. Maybe Lirino's a better spellcaster than I thought. <laughs> Why wasn't I in the portal there? Only worked for her. It was a trap. She's working against us. She's trying to slow us down. She did this intentionally. Laser beam. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've died. No. Yeah, I'll respawn her. I should probably heal myself, but channeling that ability for like 20 seconds is just so satisfying. One does not simply interrupt the knowledge and power that I possess in the form of this book. Oh, what is that? This world is beautiful, I love it. Look at that. If oh no, it's... Get us there, Look at that! I'm going to start making things explode. Dude, this is sick. It's like a MC Escher drawing, like I was talking about earlier. Like, you don't know if you're upside down, the right way up, or not. Like, it's really trippy. I love it. This is the Arcanist class. It's the new class that came out with the. Uh, Finally, the Eye of Mora on the walkway above us. The Necrom storyline. Laser beam to the eye. Right in the eye. Nothing he can do. He's trying to laser beam me back, but his beam is nothing compared to the lusty Argonian maid. How dare you interrupt the lusty Argonian maid? Read its pages. Yes. My god, the lusty Argonian maid. They just can't handle it. Not even hentai can survive. Taylor, thank you so much for the donation. Thanks for streaming, Battle Brother. Stomp out any of the Imperial scum. You know me. <laughs> Don't let that Imperial scum... What is that? Jesus. Tamaris Mora's private stash, I guess. Look, there's stuff going along sideways on the path. It's so weird. It's so trippy. Okay, let's go through the portal. Hopefully this is the right way. Oh no, was it the other portal I was meant to go through? Is this where I came from? Now I am confused. Or is it? Oh, it's up here. The center. We're finally here. We made it. Oh, it's you again. Through his legs. Through your legs. With or without Lyrium, you need to go in after Black Crown and Torvastar. The laser beam of war. I'm striking, I'm striking. Die. Look at that damage. Deletus. The Eye of Mora. Into the eye. You're as transparent as I am. And look, there's Torvasaft. We're in a memory of Hermaeus Morva, model. Here, no harm may befall us. I suggest we use this opportunity to confer. Oh, cool. We'll when make dealing a deal. with matters of fate, meetings such as this are inevitable. Know that I am Torvasaft, and know that we need not be adversaries in these matters. I simply seek an ancient dream, barely remembered. Lost knowledge, nothing more. The knowledge you seek can destroy reality. Is that what Hermaeus Mora and his high elf lackey told you? Can you imagine any revelation that possesses such power? No, this is about keeping secrets, hoarding knowledge, stealing memories. Hermaeus Mora, the great miser of oblivion. Yeah, that does make a lot of sense, to be honest. 
And tell me about this knowledge you seek. All I have is fragments of a dream. Even Vermina could not help me recall it. But we remembered enough to get us this far. Hermaeus Mora stole this knowledge from us. And I do not wish to harm you, mortal. To harm anyone. But I will learn the truth. And where's Blightcrown? Why are you working with Period's priest? The pompous mortal riddled with disease. <laughs> the memory rejected him. We entered together, but I stand here, alone, except for you. But worry not for Periite's priest. Blightcrown has skills. It should be a simple matter for him to return to Nern. So, what now, Orvsard? I will continue my search. You, however, should turn back. Wandering the memories of a Daedric prince is dangerous for one such as I. For you, such a journey will most likely prove fatal. I would hate to see fate's chosen reach such an ignoble end. All right, bye. Heed my words, mortal. If I learned anything as a Talvani Magister, it's this. When a Dremora tells you to go right, you go left. Let's see what this memory contains. I like your attitude. Let's go, boys. Let's go and look at Tamaris Mora's Forbidden Hentai. Dream Carvers. Prince Vermina's Petra Mora clan. What's happening? We've been taken. Laser beam! Overpowered. We love Those it. Are their Mina markings on the walls. Follow me, mortals. Oh, sneaky hunger. Death beam. Laser beam. Die. It's following me, look. It's awesome. Read the pages. Yes. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. Do this, fate forger. It is already done. You will forget this ever happened. Everyone will. It is the only way to preserve reality. Damn you, Mora! Damn! No! A spell to make all of reality forget. I can barely imagine. Come on. We need to find Torbisard. Damn, I didn't know he could fire laser beams out of his eye. That's awesome. He's like immediately the coolest Daedric Prince ever. Man. Read the pages. Converted. Leveled up in the fighter skill by teaching Dramora to read. Look at that. The Harry Potter game's good. I really enjoyed it. And now you know Hermaeus Mora's grand betrayal. Once I restore Vermina's statue, the process of restoring the memory will begin. I suggest you defend yourself, mortal. Oh, defend yourself! The prince of dreams and nightmares. Come at me. Magic. Oh yeah, look at that. Get right, some. Magic. Crux. Eat this. Knowledge. Do you want some knowledge? Are you here for knowledge? Take some knowledge. Oh my god, my knowledge is. What was shattered has 
has been restored. Who dares enter this forbidden memory? No! What have you done? He doesn't like you. Flee while you can, transgressor. Your reckless actions threaten all of reality. He's not happy with the statue. This memory has changed. Chosen, speak with me. Look at him. Beautiful tentacle boy. How do I speak with you? I'm inside you. I can't... How do I communicate with you, sir? Uh, how do I... How am I meant to talk with you right now? Talk with him. I want to talk with him. Ah! He didn't like that. How do I... Why don't it let me speak to them? Do I have to stand on a rock here? You're too high up for me, Hemeris Mora. What the hell am I meant to talk to you? What the hell? Oh, now I can talk. Okay, great. I that came out of nowhere. All evidence of this moment. And of the events that led to the loathsome action I was forced to perform. But I could not strip it from my own memory. And now that misstep has borne bitter fruit. <sighs> what did the Dramora tell you, Chosen? Torvasad said you hoard secrets, that you stole memories from him and Vermina from everyone. Mm, Torvasad spoke true. Forbidden knowledge and secrets are my prime concern. Much of what I hoard serves to protect all the realms of existence. This particular secret, however, must stay forgotten. Even this slight recollection threatens reality. You said this memory changed. Torvasad found a way to slip past the eyes that see all and into the memory. He should have had no ability to access. And yet, here we are. He restored that which I destroyed. And now this recollection is no longer forgotten. And this will recall reality to un unravel the threads fray but have not yet snapped Torvasard and my enemies recall a fraction of the memory but the most devastating secret remains locked away return to your allies the situation can still be salvaged if you and Laramil work together Use this portal and return to Liramil's study. We will talk again soon. Blinky Blinky. He's so adorable. I, he's kind of cute. Let's argue in the chat about Elder Scrubs. Yeah. You bunch of Sky Babies, you. <laughs> what does that mean? Like someone who's just played Skyrim? Intrigued. Dun, dun, dun. I was afraid you might have been lost in the void after my portal fractured. Who are all these people? When the opportunity to enter a place of forbidden knowledge was snatched from me, the frustration was nearly overwhelming. Oh, well. Tell me what you saw inside the memory proxy. I met Torvasad and we saw Homerus Mora remove a memory from Vermina and all of reality. Ah. Oh. The event that began this cavalcade of fate. Of course, such drastic measures must have been taken for good reason. The one who knows keeps referring to the unraveling of reality if we fail in our efforts. What else did you experience? Torvus had altered the memory. He restored Vermina's statue that Mora shattered to cast his spell. With that level of power, Torvasad is clearly more than your average Dremora. 
much more. Does that mean the secret has been remembered? Have we failed? Shall reality begin unraveling all around us? Mora told me that the fate threads have frayed, but we can still save Apocrypha and Nerd. Then only some of the lost memory has been restored. The most dangerous portion of the secret must still be hidden. Very well. If you plan to honor your contract and still want to help save Apocrypha and Nern, I shall assist you as best I can. Mora said we could still save reality if we work together. I would have it no other way, Proxy. We followed Hermaeus Mora's enemies from one end of Apocrypha to the other, and we learned what they seek. You have done well, and the one who knows wants to reward your efforts. Take this. I got some then face art. We shall see. She gave me some face paint. What you described. How could Tovasad change a memory of Hermaeus Mora? How could he alter what happened so long ago? Such a power should not exist. This sensation. Bafflement. I do hmm. not care for it. Hermaeus Mora said we can still save reality if we were to get. Yes! I just said that! Tovasad has allies as well Master Shell Renning, Vermina, and Periite. Blightcrown and the Hidden Kindred cultists. They seek to restore memories stolen from them by Hermaeus Mora. And from what you saw, Torvasad has started the restoration process. Apocrypha seems intent on even keeping us from learning too much about all this. Yes, most puzzling. Torvasad's next step must involve the right Master Shell Rennie seeks to draw from Melm's Black Book. Return to Necrom and find Curate Gadane. See what Shalreni is up to. Meanwhile, I have other inquiries I wish to explore. All right. Remember, as long as Shalreni possesses the Black Book, she can complete her right. If they fully unlock this forgotten secret, multiple realms are doomed. I shall meet you at the bookshop in Necrom after I complete my investigation. At the bookshop? Okay. Are you sure Master Shalreni is our best lead right now? Thorvasad and Blightcrown could be anywhere, but Master Shell Rennie has roots in the Telvani Peninsula. If anyone can help you navigate the complexities of the Dunma Great Houses, it is Curate Gadane. Investigating Shell Rennie is our best option. Yeah, that makes sense. This portal will return you to Necron. Oh, I love Master you. Shell yeah, Rennie take me there right now. Let's go. Of the Assembly of Masters. What zones are there on Tamriel that you'd like to explore for next year's DLC? Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure they're probably already decided. Like, they're probably already working on that well into production. But, um... I don't think we'll go to Southern Hammerfell. Because that's going to be the Elder Scrolls 6. So I think what will happen is when the Elder Scrolls 6 is released... ESO probably even at the same year or the next year will do a zone here which is like return to the Elder Scrolls 6 Hammerfell sort of thing kind of like they did with Skyrim I wouldn't be surprised if we have like another Skyrim zone at some point though I think it's a bit too fresh um, I think there's a lot of other areas they could add I don't know which ones I'm excited to explore I think I'd be quite interested in going back to Solfheim I don't know what I'd do there, because we've just done Apocrypha, and that's kind of almost like quite Dragonborn in Hemeris Mora, so, you know, there's a lot of other stuff going. I would like, actually, oh no, the more I talk wouldn't work, would it? Um, High Isles really excited me, the whole storyline and plot there, sort of learning more about the sea, sea loads and what happened to... Um, I wanted to find out what happened to the sunken islands, the other continents, but we didn't get that. Obviously, they don't want to mess too much with the law. Um, it would be cool to do something with the Dwemer. The mortal returns. I thought I recognized that wrinkle in the fabric of fate. Uh, I hoped Laramil would be with you. We have news. Do you? Scrut and I uncovered the most interesting news. The Assembly of Masters learned of Master Shalreni's recent activities and has called for a conclave. They plan to strip her of her rank and expel her from the house. 
What's the difference between an assembly and a conclave? It's complicated. The assembly of masters consists of just their mouths. The actual masters rarely leave their towers and never to meet with their rivals. A and conclave, how does... however, is a different story. The masters themselves are compelled to attend. And how does that help us locate Master Sharani? Well, obviously, she has to attend. Like, come on. Don't you see? When they convene the Master's Conclave, Shelreni must be on hand to contest the charges. So, we know where we can find her and when. Yes. So, when is this Conclave taking place? At Tel Hulan, the Tower Hall in Old Isra. As a curate, I think I can get us into the Conclave by claiming official Necrom business. House Telvani prefers to stay on our good side, so they rarely ask too many questions of the Keepers of the Dead. Alright, I'll meet you there. Jesus. Curate or not, he'll never get into the conclave bearing the mark of a Daedric Prince. Not underestimate Shalreni at your own peril. And do not think to just walk into a Telvani stronghold reeking of Hermaeus Mora. Either Shalreni's Daedric allies or the conclave's own protections will spot you the moment you step across the threshold. And you can help us avoid detection? Of course. Wasn't I the greatest magister of my time? If not for my desire for solitude, I would have been the Archmagister. Unfortunately, my spectral body isn't good for anything these days. You'll need to serve as my hands for this to work. Alright, what do I need to do? Return to Tel Rendis. Around my tower, you'll find the components necessary to assemble a passable cloak of omission. Look for dried hoaxwort, a lamia scale shawl, and an illusion tincture of my own creation. I'll tell you more when we get there. Okay, that's a weird list of ingredients. Let's go grab them. She can take out all the masters and seize control of House Talvani. Yep, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> I think you've guessed the plot. Classic. <laughs> oh dear. What is this? It's a still life painting. Isn't that quite a famous painting? Pretty sure it is. What is that? Is that a giant raven? A giant bird? Wait, where did I need to go? No. Here. Here. There. I know the secrets of the Thalma, Imperials, and Stormquake. Who is good and who is evil and who is a tool? I know Alduin's true goal is, and I know the story of Parthenax. Yeah, makes sense. No, the Thalma's true goal. It's quite difficult to decipher. I should have made a map. Curses and corporeal existence. I can see why most ancestors move on instead of haunting their descendants. My mortal memories are much harder to recall than I anticipated. Mm. I don't remember where to find those components. Not exactly. So we came here to find nothing. <laughs> this guy hates me, surely. Of course not. I buried the components we need in separate caches on the tower grounds. I just can't remember exactly where I put them. No matter. With your assistance, I'm sure we can find the right spots. What do we need to do? Use my ghost sight. It will reveal the hiding places. Remember. Okay, okay, cool. I I, I mean, we're going on a treasure hunt to find his lost possessions. I don't need the conversation for it. I'm sorry, usually I never skip anything, but that's just a bit piss taking. So, I'm assuming I need to walk somewhere near these areas and then use the ghost site to find the stuff. Magic. Be able to see my sigils through my ghost. This looks familiar. Activate my ghost site. Already done it. Has it really been so long? 
Those components look terrible, but they'll have to do. There's another one over there. Some air astronauts want some B. Oh no, you better run away, otherwise I'll show you the lusty Argonian maid. You'll find a cache here. All right, now we need to go to the workbench. Is that here? No, this is the stable. The workbench is over there. Find McMuffin, give McMuffin, unlock next quest, replay. I mean, they're not all fetch quests. Some of them are, obviously, but uh, what RPG doesn't have a good fetch quest? Kill 10 rats. I remember this old workbench. We can prepare the cloak of omission here. Good work. Now place the shawl. Almost done. Now sprinkle the tincture. Just Excellent. put it over the floor. Now take the cloak of omission. This is my outfit. Go ahead and try it on. The cloak will mask your presence and hide your connection to the Prince of Fate. Where is it? What? Did they make a new area for disguises? Should be a inventory, right? Or is it in quest items? Yeah, it is. You look amazing. Barely a hint of a data connection. I should explain the particulars, though. Hmm, not a bad bit of work. You follow directions well. And the cloak looks perfectly dashing. Dashing, I say. His beard now is longer. Let's get to old Isra and meet up with Kirit Gedeng. She should have gotten you access to the conclave by now. That is their goal, but how are they going to achieve it? Wait for a moment, you said something about particulars. Did I? I don't recall. But if you're asking about the cloak of a mission, it could only shield you from so many scrying attempts. Eventually, someone will notice you. But the enchantment should last long enough for us to get our hands on Shell Rennie. Anything else you want to tell me? Now that you mention it, yes. Gaden can get you on the access list, but you must play your part. Dunmer Law's a labyrinthine, Telvani especially. You need to invoke the proper statue to avoid suspicion. The proper statue? Just say the following to the sentry at the door. I hereby invoke the 26th statue of the Necrom Agreement, and then demand entry to the Conclave. Can you remember that? Once we get inside, we can meet up with Kuit Gadein. I hereby invoke the 26th statue of Necrom Agreement. 26th statue. 26. Alright, let's go. What could Shelreni be thinking? She's obviously counting on the support of two Daedric princes. But does she really expect them to magically elevate her to the rank of Magister? <sighs> Let's get to tell Hulen in Old Isra and see if the cloak works. YOLO! Because you're not a Telvani. That particular statute relates to the agreement between House Telvani and the Keepers of the Dead. If you present it with authority, the Sentry will probably grant you access. Once inside, why don't I just tell the Conclave what Master Shalani is really up to? And tell them what? If you even imply that any Telvani would require the help of an outsider, you'd insult them at best or get arrested, if not immediately challenged to a duel of spells. Believe me, any of those would be counterproductive. What would they arrest me for? Do you honestly think my people need a legitimate reason? <laughs> well... How about impersonating a Necrom official, or infiltrating a meeting of the Master's Conclave? Not to mention acting in the service of a Daedric Prince. We can't risk it. Yeah, I think you made a very good point. 
Alright, let's go into house stuff, honey. Masters. Remember to invoke the statute when you demand entry and put on the cloak. It'd be funny if I just walked in like butt naked. No, that's true. As Master Shalreni's mouth, you are prohibited from entering the conclave. But, but I, I must warn the masters. Don't worry. Your treacherous master will be dealt with soon enough. You. You must warn the other masters. I can no longer stand by and do nothing while Master Sheldreni continues along this dark path. Her actions threaten the entire peninsula. I'm undercover. Why are you talking to me? You're Master Sheldreni's mouth. Why would you trust in a thing you tell me? You probably shouldn't. But that doesn't mean I'm lying. I admired Sheldreni for her skill and power. Thought she would help me rise in the ranks. But her ambition and contempt for her fellow Telvanni will doom us all. What do you mean? Master Shelreni made the deal with not one, but two Daedric princes. She plans to use their help to eliminate all who oppose her so she can become Archmagister. The Masters won't listen to me. They don't understand the danger. What danger? I'm not sure. Master Shelreni stopped confiding in me. But I know how she thinks. She has no respect for the Masters or this Conclave. When they move to reprimand her, she's going to show them just how powerful she's become. It will be a bloodbath. Oh boy, she is going to kill them all together. You were right to guess the plot. Now let's see if it actually happens. Let's change our emote. What emotes collection are we going to go for? Uh, what's it on? Mementos? No, that is not what I want to click. Personalities. Heroic. Yeah, why not? The Master's Conclave is in session. All other business is on hold. Come back later. Check your list. I hereby invoke the 26th statue of Necrom Agreement and demand entry. I thought it was going to come up with like four options and then I'd have to like remember it. So I actually was remembering it, but no. Necrom? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. You're listed as Curate Godain's attending clerk. Oh, very good. You may go inside. I expect you'll find the curate in the assembly antechamber. As the attending magister declared the conclave for masters only. I had it. Oh, taking off the door. Nice. Looks like um, a hobbit soul. There's Cuit's contain. Hello there. I must Only Telvanni masters may proceed into the assembly hall. Until the conclave concludes its business, you're welcome to wait out here. I do much for you and the keepers. Now tell me, what do you think of my book? That's Master Nohora's mouth. We need to extract a day this instant. The curate and I are busy, outsider. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't see. The curate and I are busy, outsider. I am eager to hear what he thinks of my book, Ancestors of a Humble Mouth. It's a work in progress, but at least two booksellers have expressed interest. Come back later. Master Norbra sent me to find you. She requires your immediate assistance. How strange. As no one but masters are allowed inside, Master Norvora explicitly told me to wait out here until after the Conclave concluded its business. I don't think you understand. Leave us now. <laughs> All right, do whatever you think is right. Lie. Well, she was quite insistent that I locate you and tell her to go and get her spellbook. Well, obviously Master Norvora needs her spellbook. No master <laughs> should ever meet her peers without being totally prepared. I'll go and fetch it at once. 
She needs her uh, how Thank to cast you, fire spell book. Follow me. I know a place where we can talk privately. Have a drink and relax. Oh. I expect the masters to remain locked in discussion for some time. He's so chill. His voice is so chill. All the masters are accounted for. And Magister Gothran arrived from Sadrath Mora to personally open. Master Marina. This is an outrage. I deserve to be in there at my master's side, listening to. She stay in bed, but she insisted we attend the conclave. They call them so rarely, you know. Understandable. As much as our masters despise public appearances, they hate the thought of others gathering without them more. Too bad they're not allowed inside. I was hoping to see what punishment they devised for Master Shalreni. Master Shalreni. We can speak freely here. Where the hell are we anyway? You've taken me somewhere strange. Is that a mass? It's dead now. What are all these notifications, man? Okay, cool. You arrived not a moment too soon, my friend. Before they decided to seal the hall, and I was trapped in that dreadful conversation with Mouth Elar, I found what we needed. Master Shalreni is here, and being held under guard until the conclave begins. Shalreni's here? I saw her mouth outside. She said the masters are in danger. Let's go get Shalreni! Ah, and now we come to the problem. Ah. Magister Gothran arrived from Sadrath Mora to oversee the Master's Conclave. He immediately expelled all but the Telvanni Masters and placed a ward on the door. There's no way to get into the assembly hall. Ah, oh, classic. There must be some way to get inside. Sadly, disabling a ward placed by a Magister is beyond my capabilities. If you have any ideas, please share them. Otherwise, I fear the Masters are on their own in there. Meln is a Magister. Maybe he can help us get past the ward. A Magister? To counter Magister magic, eh? Eh? Good idea. Let's go disable the ward. YOLO. A ward needs anchors. Use my ghost sight to see them. One on either side of the door. I'll lend you my power to disable them. Hopefully no one notices what I'm doing. Don't mind me, citizens. Magister Guthrin is good, but I'm better. Let's enter the assembly hall. Let's tell me what to do. What do I do next? You haven't informed me. Is that a pie? This is a closed session. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Now, Guthrin. Surely such restrictions don't apply to a Magister and his proxy. Meln the Mouthless, a spirit. No matter, I will not tolerate your antics. Nothing in our statutes <laughs> precludes a dead Magister from participating in a conclave. Now, hear what my proxy has to say. Very well. Step forward. Oh, I'll play them. That was cool. That was cool. I enjoyed that. That's cool. I'm just going to go around the tables. Um, I noticed you have a few rats eating things. That's not good. I'm also going to have to confiscate this food and drink. Um, is that a mud crab? It's dead now, don't worry. It's a cooking fire. Oh, one sec, guys. I'm just going to brew up some food. Let me just check out what else you have here in the Master's Grotto. It's a pumpkin. What's this? A jewelry box? Oh, a lockpick and jewelry box. That's a bit ironic. What's in here? Is a secret a secret exit? You guys didn't tell me about this. I knew there was another way in. I talked to her. The Morag Tong's assistant. You certainly get around. No well, way. I appreciate what you did for the assembly. For me. This is a matter for the masters and the magister. You really shouldn't be in here. Oh, it's so cool that they referenced that. Love it. First, Magister Gothrin arrives to take the reins of our conclave. And now the spirit of Magister Meln. I knew gathering the local masters all in one place was a bad idea. Meln is dead. I knew it. Master Foves owes me 200 gold. Okay. I have nothing to say to you, outsider. 
Not only did you cost me the life of a valued servant, you set back my plans in the assembly. I will not soon forget such insults. Ah, uh, cup of care. Empty. You stand on shaky ground, mouth for the mouthless. What's so important that Magister Meln dares interrupt this closed session of the Master's Conclave? <laughs> chill, Argonian. Yes, chill. Chain-smoking Argonian. <laughs> You're all in danger. Master Shireni plans to eliminate all of her rivals. And Magister Meln thought us so ineffective that he had to swoop in and save the day? How presumptuous of him. Do you really think one rogue master is a match for this assembly? It's not just Master Shireni. It She has support. Two Daedric princes. So I heard. Hence the reason I decided to leave my comfortable tower and come all this way to personally take charge of this conclave. The masters will hear the charges, question the subject, and render swift judgment. She's going to kill you all, just like she killed Melm the Mouthless. Is that why you're here? To add another charge to Shell Rennie's list of crimes? Then so noted. Perhaps that's why she turned herself over without any fuss or bother, so that she can plead for mercy. Perhaps I'll be lenient. Perhaps not. You're making a mistake. Magister Mel said you can't underestimate Master Shirani. Enough of this nonsense. I listened to the concerns of your Magister and heard his allegation. Now we are finished. Mel may stay if he wishes. That is his right. But you and the curate should go and leave us to our work. Over here. I forgot how boring my so-called peers can be. Pity Shell Rennie didn't eliminate a few more of my rivals before we noticed. But your master, Meln. I have fond memories of his many antics. That's why I wanted a word with you. What about? Your master has delayed these proceedings long enough. Long. Master Shelreni reached above her station and must be dealt with. Anything that postpones that and increases the time I must spend in the company of my so-called peers will not be tolerated. Master Shelreni murdered Magister Mel. He has the right to confront her. He has the right to confront her. Murder, you say? That is serious. But, uh, I suppose anything can be expected from a master who makes pacts with Deidre. We really need to strip her of her rank and exile her. Well, if you must see her, she's being held in a meeting room down the East Hall. Okay. I don't understand this necessity for debate. If it were up to me, we'd get right to the vote. Nothing anyone has to say will change my mind about she Sounds Shereni. massive. Now then. Is Magister Meln really dead? Yes, he was murdered by her. Meln may have confused Magister Gothrin, but there's no provision for a dead Telvanni participating in a conclave. It's just not done. Look, if we don't find Shireni, there's no telling what might happen to you and the other masters. Is that a threat? <laughs> Master Morena led Shireni through the East Door for making similar pronouncements only a few moments ago. If that can happen to a master, Imagine what's in store for a lowly mouth like you. Dear. What are you waiting for? Do what all good mouths do and convert. Okay. See you, boys. Oh, hello. There's a meeting room just to the right. Why is the sneaky boy here? Let's go into the East Hall. Oh, I'm glad you're playing, back playing it again. Thanks to me. That's awesome, dude. Hope you enjoy. Are you going to go through the Necrom DLC or are you going to play something else? Is she in here take then? A look. I'll stand watch out here in case... Matt... This is the meeting room. But what's that tipped over bottle over there? A suspicious file. She's probably in here. She's hiding. Where did she escape from? This looks like a prison, not a meeting room. That's pure essence of dream. Let me cast a spell to see what happened here. What? What was that? Just a little gift from the Prince of Dreams. Soon, you will do exactly as I say. You... You won't get away with this. I already have. And with your help, 
I'll get away with so much more. Now let's go attend the Conclave. My ascension requires participants, willing or otherwise. We must get to the Conclave. It's held in the Master's private hall to the north. So she showed her the dream and that gave her Something control over it. The north. I'm I going. The conclave is starting. I'm going, I'm going. When does Scarum 6 come out? Very soon, I'm sure. I think we'll get a paid for marketplace with mods. Dude, that back freaked me out. What the hell? Hi there. Oh, he's still alive. He survives another day. This guy over here, he was waiting for the conclave to start. Shell Remy, you stand accused of conspiring against your fellow Telvani, murdering Melm the Mouthless, and consorting with Daedric Princes. How do you plead? A Telvani doesn't plead. But I will kill you all before I take my sacrifice and depart. Help me, Magister. Shell Remy, cease your actions this instant. Use my ghost sight to disable the wards and get down there. Spooky, spooky. Disable a swordus. Disable a swordus. Open sasami. Easy. I'm coming, boys. Level 15 wizard. Here I come. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Ah. You again. How did you know? What hope do you have? Bruh. Come on, get up. Biggest lie ever. Biggest lie ever. I was hidden. You're finally awake. Thank the ancestors. No, we missed the finally awake scene. One sec. Come back. Come back. Come back. He was like, get up, and I thought I could go back to the fight, so I just ran through the portal. Wait, what? Everyone's Come gone. On, get up! I'm not ready to die a second time. Okay, here we go. You're finally awake. Thank the ancestors. I thought Shell Rennie killed you. We should talk, Mouth of Mel. I was trying to cross the border and I woke up here. The mouth of the mouthless. I suppose you want me to say that you and Mel were right. That I should have taken Shell Rennie's threat more seriously. Well, let's pretend I said that and move on to what needs to happen next. I remember rushing towards Shell Rennie and suddenly everything went black. Yes, quite a display. She used the Conclave to formally announce her intentions. Her spell would have killed everyone and positioned her to challenge the Archmagister for rulership of the house. Luckily, I was on hand to save the local masters. What did you do? Shell Rennie may be a powerful master, but I am a Magister of the Telvani Council. It was a simple matter to deflect her attack while the Conclave dispersed. Then I stabilized the portal she fled through, assuming you would want to follow her. Why did you assume that we would want to follow her? Really now, who do you think Meln consulted when he first invented his cloak of omission? I see the mark of Mora upon you. House Telvani wants no part in the machinations of Daedric Princes. Just make sure to kill Shell Rennie when you find her. What about the Master Marana? Master Morena revealed her inadequacies when she allowed herself to be <laughs> captured. The other Masters survived. In both cases, House Telvani won. What? If you plan to chase Shell Rennie, I suggest you leave now. I'm not going to hold that portal open forever. So you don't care what happens to Master Morana? In all honesty, no. In case you haven't noticed, we of House Telvani are a superior lot. Sentiment and mercy rarely factor into our actions. Now, step lively. That portal will close as soon as my attention wavers. Ooh, and I feel a yawn coming on. <laughs> I love this character's great. I love it. Let's go in. That's this a tree point. Ruin. Those markings. Hi, hi. This place is dedicated she to She hasn't spotted to us. She can't see us. Don't worry. Just keep going. I've this been place. here before in a dream. 
I think we visited the memory of it in the Eye of Mora. Yes. Yes, we did. Where's the statue there? That's the question. Let's sneak past her, really. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh! Oh, she didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. Run for your lives. Oh my god, my companion is definitely dead. Take this. And this. And this. And this. Laser beam. Oh, you better run for your life. My, my laser beams are too powerful. Marshal Shalrani's notes. Torvasart. Okay. This is what she wrote to the Daedric. The Daedra. The Dramora Torvastad came here with me, an intriguing proposition more than two years ago now. He promised to fulfill my lifelong ambition to become Arch Magister and rule over House Tavani. All I had to do was pledge my services to Vermina, the Daedric Prince of Dark Protests, and all my dreams would come to pass. He explained that something had been taken from the world long ago, and that it was his destiny to restore what was stolen, what was lost. He said that Rest, rationing between a restoration being with a dream, hence his alignment with Vermina. For in a dream, he recalled a shrine to the dream weaver, a shrine that was imperative that I help him repair. After much research and investigation, we have come to this ancient site. Now all we need to do is find the shrine Torvasad saw in his dreams. The notes on the restoration. After long months of preparation, we're finally ready to begin work on fully restoring the ancient statue of Vermina. While I still don't understand the significance of the effigy, I have devoted myself to determine exactly how to rebuild the statue and restore its former glory. Torvastad works by my side, learning all he can. When I ask why, he refuses to answer. He just says that restoring the statue is key to restoring what was lost. And now I have an army of Vermina's followers bolstered by the devouted to Periite. Blight's crown disgusts me, but I cannot fault his brilliance or the strength of his charges. The supply of Malchite, of of Malchite, from Al the Alveolus quarries have finally arrived so we can begin. Soon Vermina shall reward me with the power I need to become Arch Magister of House Talvani. relevant in those papers? Yes, a lot. Follow me. You fool. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Never should have come here. We uh. must find Shelrenny and stop her from completing this right. And Master Morena, we need to free her. Not again. Black book. Ingenious. Looks like Shelrenny got past my safeguards. The restored memory to open a path to Apocrypha. All we need now is for Shelrenny to finish the right and perform the sacrifice. Shereni is using the restored statue as a focus for her right. Luckily, he revealed his plan to us just now. Oh my god. Morris, you will not interfere. An aspect of Vermina? That's not good. Away, agents of fate. This person will help me restore what was taken from Magic. Us all. Magic. Magic. No. Book powers. Delete her. No. Now my disciple. Complete the sacrifice so I may have the ghost sight. She can't handle the book or the lusty Argonian maid. Oh god, I'm stuck in a pot. What is the focus point? Okay. Oh, you've got to use your your ghost sight to delete her faster. Okay. Okay, now her health is rapidly dropping and she's dead. Now, Prince, free Morena from the binding. No, I'm I found some new items. I need to equip these. Very nice, yes, very nice. I'll be right with you. What is happening here? This magic is unstable. Save yourself. No, not when we're so close. Close my black book and take it. 
That should end the right. My book. I need more books for my collection. Black Book of the Tormenting Eye. One of Homeros Mora's black books. This is one entitled The Tormenting Eye. And it was in Melon. Taking the black book won't stop us. And one of you will serve just as well as a sacrifice. Okay. No need to involve outsiders, Shell Rennie. Prince Hermina accepts your sacrifice and deems you a worthy vassal. I regret the bloodshed, but soon Moore's injustice will be undone. Damn. With this vessel, I can enter Apocrypha and strike at Moore's heart. With me, my faithful. She floats now, that's impressive. We have to warn Apocrypha. Let's return to the Necron Bindery and find Laramil. Hold You're lucky. And I'll open a portal back to Necron. Oh, damn. I did not expect that betrayal. And I don't know why it was necessary. Unless she didn't want the... Obviously, the two Daedric Princes have to conflict. And that was the point of contention where I think he wanted um, the Daedric Prince of Dreams to have the power over their plans. Um, no, the Daedric Prince of Periite to have the power over the Prince of Dreams. And that was the point of betrayal, but I still don't understand why that was. It didn't make sense Neither for us. Neither nor I can feel Hermaeus Mora's presence. We both find this unsettling. Good, you are here. Both Scrooge and I felt a sudden disturbance in the tides of fate. The Force. Something terrible has happened in Apocrypha. And Scrooge and I no longer feel the presence of the one who knows. Shall Renny perform the rites? Blight Crown sacrificed her and Vermina possessed her body. Another significant event in the annals of fate and I missed it. But Master Shell Rennie is dead. And Vermina did what? <laughs> Start from the beginning, Proxy. What happened at the Master's Conclave? Okay, so that makes more sense. So I didn't actually understand that. But Blight Crown assassinated Shell Rennie and then Vermina, the Daedric Prince um possessed her body i didn't know danger printers could i know of course they can that kind of does make sense that's interesting i didn't expect that so so peri and vermina are still working together though shilreni gave the ultimate sacrifice really for the danger prince she got betrayed by the prince as well it's just interesting lots lots of things at play here I'm kind of, I don't know where the story is going as well, which makes me quite intrigued because normally at this point, it's very obvious and we've kind of guessed it. But at this point, I really haven't. I'm quite confused and still trying to figure out what's happening. So that that's quite compelling to me. We won the Masters, which helped save them from the Master Shalrani tried to kill them all. Yeah, Master Shalrani tried to kill every single Telvani house master. So that was Shalrani's plan. Use whatever power the princess provided to eliminate her rivals and move up in rank. I am glad she failed. But what happened after that? We followed her to the shrine. We saw the memory. And then we save where we saw the memory. And then we saved the master she planned to sacrifice. And Blightcrown decided to complete the rite anyway by sacrificing Shell Rennie instead. Ruthless, but in keeping with a follower of Periite. And you say this allowed Vermina to possess Shelreni's corpse. What happened next, Proxy? I recovered the Black Book, but the possessed Shelrani and the others opened a portal to Apocrypha. And now she says that she can't feel Homeris Mora's presence anymore. They cannot. Not usually. Hence all the trouble that Torvasard and his allies went through to reach this point. At least you saved the Telvani Masters and recovered Meln's Black Book. Well done. While I ponder next steps, take this. You earned it. Both Scrooge and I felt the tides of fate churn and boil. Worse, neither of us has been able to commune with Hermaeus Mora since the Black Book's rite was completed at Vermina's shrine. And you say you saw Shalreni's body walk into Apocrypha? 
I did. Vimana passed her body after Blighttown sac Blight Crown sacrificed her. Giving Vermina access to Apocrypha and a host to work through. They must know where to find the memory they seek, or they have a good idea where to look. Apocrypha is infinite. Without fate to guide us, we are lost in the dark without a candle. There must be some way to follow them, Larmel. Light Crown and Torvasad have ways to avoid detection. Only one viable option presents itself. We must ask Master Shelreni where Vermina has taken her body. Will you see this through, Proxy? Before the disaster Mora foresaw comes to pass. I'm with you. But how can we ask Master Shalrani anything? She's dead. Fortunately, we have two conduits to spirits not yet bound for Aetherius at our disposal. That's, that's Magister Meln and convenient. Kate Gadain. Speak to Meln first. He obviously knows what happens when a Telvanni mage dies. Tell me about the Aetherius and why you think we can contact Master Shalnari's spirit. Aetherius is the immortal plane. When a person dies, their spirit moves on to that realm unless something prevents that from happening. A violent death, perhaps, or because the spirit still has tasks left undone. Shelreni fits both categories. That makes sense. Why would Vermina want why would Vermina want to enter Apocrypha? Maybe that's why she had to possess someone, because Daedric Princess shouldn't be allowed in other Daedric Prince's realms. Still seems like she's breaking the rule though. What Hermaeus Mora foresaw was always about an assault on Apocrypha. Vermina and her allies want to recover the memory that was stolen from them. But the way she's going about it will doom us all. We need to determine her destination and stop her. You mentioned that neither you nor Skurot can feel the presence of Mora. You know how you can feel the warmth and know the sun is above you, yes. even if you never look up. That is what Scrooge experiences every day in the service of her master. And what I sense when I commune with the one who knows. Now, it just feels empty. And you think this has something to do with the Mina entering Apocrypha? Yes, it is unnatural. Perhaps. We know Blightcrown used a corrupting combination of pestilence and dream to avoid detection in the Panopticon. And he was trying to increase its potency. Maybe the right did more than open a path. Maybe it cut Mora off from his own realm. Interesting, because if it did that, then that would mean that... I'd... No, well, I don't know. It's... Hmm. Leronil's idea is a good one. Master Shilrini has the answer we seek, and I know how to reach her. No Tilvani master worth their weight in Kwama Kuttel would relinquish their hold on this plane without a fight. I have no doubt we can contact Master Shalreni's spirit. Whether we can get her to cooperate, well, that's an entirely different matter. Well, she just got betrayed by the people we're fighting, even though she was fighting us. I think that's a pretty good reason to betray them back again, like Double Double Agent. How do we contact Master Shalreni's spirit? As the curate can tell you, Necron forbids summoning the dead. But there's no regulation against the dead choosing to speak to you. We don't have to summon Shalreni's spirit. We can go to her and simply request an audience. Okay, let's do that. Where do we go? Same place you found me. In her tower, of course. We must go to Telbaro and search her sanctum. If her spirit lingers, she'll haunt there. Though, I'm better take Gadain with us. If she's become a vengeful spirit, his expertise might be required. Meln, we can't just summon the dead whenever we please. It's forbidden. Uh, yes, yes. Summoning is an affront to your order. But <laughs> the spirit is already there. If I help you, I could jeopardize my standing. We would not ask this of you if the situation was not dire. I... Of course I'll help, Laramel. I'll return to Apocrypha. Lol. See if I can find Vermina while you chase spirits. Not like I've got anything better to do. Good luck at Telbaro, my friends. Return here with whatever you learn. Dealing with displaced spirits is very much frowned upon by the Keepers of the Dead. I'll help, because the stakes are great. But it goes against every iota of my training. 
Isn't ancestral worship all about communicating with those who have passed on? That's an aspect of our beliefs, but not the primary component. And it's different when you visit the catacombs and a spirit appears before you. I suppose if Shalreni decides to speak to us, that shouldn't violate the Codex too badly. Let's go and find a spirit then. Indeed. The recently departed are often confused. And that confusion can turn violent. I much prefer to deal with the spirits of our ancient ancestors. They may be cantankerous, but they've had enough time to reconcile to their undead existence. Here we go, we gotta find Master Shalnari's spirit. That's gonna be our next quest. How do we get out of here? It's asking me to go down the stores downstairs. So we've got to go to her little hut over here to find and speak to her spirit after she was just killed. What an interesting turn of events. I think it's quite intriguing, this quest line so far. We've not... I, I have no... I mean, obviously the game's immediately revealed who the bad guys are. Usually it kind of puts the bad guys right in front of you and you're like, Ha, oh, didn't expect them to be the evil one. And I've always guessed the evil person behind it all. And it's kind of like quite obvious usually but with this dlc i've just found that it's it's quite well done because they immediately revealed who the bad characters were um so you kind of knew what was going on you were like one step behind them to try and figure out their evil plans so you knew the evil plans existed but you didn't know what they were and then you had to figure out what they were and you knew that the day then you found out the daedric prince periite and namina are behind it so you're still, though, kind of behind of trying to figure out, okay, well, why do they want to go and recover this dream that was lost um, with this and restore this memory? What kind of power is that going to give them over Mora? How is it going to affect Nern and, and, you know, reality as we know it? Those are interesting questions to pose. Um, so I'm really impressed so far with what I've played in this DLC. Um, and I'm excited. Tomorrow we'll do another stream and we'll play the game again and we'll finish it off. Um, and we'll have the ending so the stream will take you there now uh, it should jump over to that but it will be on the live stream section on the channel you can just press the notification same time tomorrow i think we'll be live streaming uh, and i'll link it down below in the description in the playlist if you guys want to watch it and of course you can grab the game for yourself from the link below i will try and level up the arcanist class a bit more as well so i can sort of show you off some of the cool things you can do uh, tomorrow um, when we continue the storyline and i'll see you guys there have a lovely day drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one goodbye some of the cool things you can do uh tomorrow